The Quote Goats Podcast. The Quote Goats Podcast. Hey, y'all already know what it is. We back in the building one more time. It's episode 15, if I'm not mistaken. That's a fact, 15. Smitty's here. Always here, baby. I'm I'm here to stay, you know? <laughs> Good vibes, man. Or as uh, Martina can say, smutty. <laughs> Yo, I can't video wait was, to have her on, bro. That That's video was funny as shit. But we get really excited to have old girl on. But, uh, Why'd she say it like that? Because I wrote it to her on Inst- on uh, WhatsApp or whatever. And I figured she was going to fuck it up. And maybe I should send a <laughs> voice note. <laughs> but she sent the video back faster than I could like reply. And she said, smutty. Instead of Smitty. I was like, what? She was hype as shit when she said it, too. She was like, Tommy yeah, Gunn like she's Smutty. Like she, <laughs> like she said it right and everything. <laughs> like, uh, I had to play that shit back like three times. I was like, wait a minute. I got to text Tommy. <laughs> I got to text this nigga. <laughs> like, nah, but it's going to be exciting to have her on and shit. Like, I got a lot of questions. Oh, yeah. I got a lot of questions, too. I'm sure everybody got questions because that's a, that's a strange situation going on there. Yeah, but speaking of guests, man, we got uh, another friend of the show in the building. Uh, Tell the people who you are and where you're from and whatever you want to say about yourself. I'm Sahil. I'm from Nuremberg also, and I'm Middle Eastern. Middle Eastern. How you say your name again? Sahil. Sahil? Yeah. You got to put the (laughs) ha in there? I was going to say, is there anything like short to say? You got a nickname? No. No? You got it. Say it again. Sahil. Sahel. 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 So everybody call Why you that. Say the L like that. I don't know. Did I say it, <laughs> did I say it wrong? Damn, how you doing? Let's say it again. Sahel. 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 Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Sounds like L at the end. <laughs> shit. We trying to put that Middle Eastern twang on the end of it, but she's just trying to give us the simple Sahel. I swear to God, that's how it is. Everybody call you that, mm-hmm. and nobody fucks it up. They don't say Sahel? A lot of people fuck it up. I'm pretty sure. People don't say, yo, Sahel. 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 It's just simple Sahel. I would have gave you a nickname a long time ago. Yeah, like I would have said Sai. <laughs> yeah, Sai. Like, like, <clears throat> Sahel. That don't even sound right. <laughs> <laughs> that don't even sound right. Yeah, but that's that's a that's a nice name though. You got like a like a long like a middle name and, and a last name? I got two last names. You gotta say What's your, your whole, whole name. name yeah. I'm not gonna say my whole Yo, that's name. Yo, that's it. Come on, like people that's... be crazy. <laughs> oh, okay, oh, you don't yeah, want nobody looking you up and shit like that. Mm-hmm. Is, is it long? I'm gonna guess. <laughs> Tinder swindler is like, yo, yeah, got her name. <laughs> 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 that yeah. shit. Well, that's don't a crazy ass documentary. Yeah. Did you see that documentary? Nah. Oh, okay, <laughs> Tinder swindler. He's a bad motherfucker though. Yeah, that's a fact. That's why you got to take my name off that fucking introduction. Again. <laughs> <laughs> People be scamming for real. But um, what part, like, you said Middle Eastern, but, like, where, like, exactly? I'm Persian. Persian. So from Iran. Okay, okay. Persian. Is that the same thing, like, Kim Kardashian is and shit? Kim Kardashian. Is she, like, Persian or is she, like, uh... Not that I know. Of. Nah, I think she's from, um... She's, like, what is Kim Kardashian? She's some shit like that. See, I, ain't even I forgot. That. Hold on. She's like Armenian, I think. Armenian, yeah. That is yeah. not the same thing. What that's, is Armenian? They're like from Europe. That's that's the European. Yeah. Europe. It is. Yeah. That's you look like mm-hmm. a, you could be one of their cousins or some shit, though. A Kardashian? Yeah. I guess I feel honored or whatever. Nah, I feel like she's. I say she probably going to like she's that. A little, little she's more. a little. Um, <laughs> nah, they're a little more like whiter. You kind of got yeah, a little. I'm, more, I'm really pale right now. So just ignore that. So you all, you like fully Middle Eastern or you mm-hmm. mixed with something? Nope. Okay. How'd you end up in Germany? I don't know. I was born here. You was born here? Mm-hmm. How'd your parents end up here? Mm, I think because of the war. I'm not sure. They came uh-huh. here pretty early with like 15 or so. Oh, okay. Okay. So they've been, so your whole, like your generation and your parents' generation pretty much grew up yeah. in Germany and shit like that. That's so cool. do they, like, do you speak like Persian, Persian too? Yeah. Okay. That's lit. How you say what's goody or what's up? <laughs> what's goody in, yeah. in Persian? <clears throat> All right, how, how do you, you greet somebody? How you greet somebody? Yeah, there you go. Like hello. Yeah. Salam. 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 Like salam alaikum. No. <laughs> 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 it's a little bit. Know. It's a little bit like Arabic, but not fully. But y'all wouldn't like y'all would not be able to tell the difference. Okay. 
I don't think I ever heard that language. Nah, me neither. Spoken. They don't speak that in like Kuwait or anything like that. Mm-mm. I'm so bad with ge- you mm. know geography. Me too. I don't me know too. Who don't speak, even ask who me. Speak well. how, how come you can speak English so well? You got um, like a, 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 a American like boyfriend or something? Ex boyfriend. Let's ex-boyfriend. not even speak on that. Okay, we don't have to speak <laughs> on the person. I was just <laughs> trying to get to the root of wh- how you can speak. It's mainly because of him and a lot of American friends. My okay. English used to be terrible. Like it used to suck. Okay. Okay. Really bad. So you do still like watch like German movies, or no. you watch it like I in watch English? Everything in English. It's better in English, right? It's way better. Yeah, I'll be seeing Will Smith like talking. Nigga, them like, German boy- voices what? be fucking that <laughs> shit so up. Weird. Yeah, bro, it's it's weird to me, but like my wife be like, yeah, but that's what they they used to. So it's kind of like the same. Do voice. your wife want to watch it? When like when you when y'all watch it, she cool with with the with the subtitles in the English, or she I gotta mean, watch it in German sometimes. I mean, depending. Like for example, we watch uh, Money Heist. I watch it in German. Cause like it, it's a little yeah I watched it in German. Oh man, you didn't get the full effect of it. Right. Yeah, nah, but you got to think it's the first time me watching it, so I don't know. Like you know, I was still reading the subject. I don't know. It's the same thing. I mean, even in English, it's not in this in this mother language because I yeah. think it they is. were speaking Spanish exactly. the whole time. But if I like, for example, if I'm like if we watching a movie, like I don't know, let's say a Marvel comics movie or something come out. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm I know the character's voice. I'm like, babe, we, we watching this in English. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? Like, but if it's some new shit, like, you know, I you know, I'll read the subtitles. I feel like the same voice actors voice every fucking movie. <laughs> yeah. It'd be the same motherfuckers, the same voices and shit. They do that a lot. Yeah, that's a fact. I never thought about it like they that. Probably they probably really paid. Do. They probably got too much work because yeah. of Netflix and all that shit. Yeah, that's a fact, but um, nah. Like I said, she, she's, she, I mean, she can speak and she hears it. Yeah, and my wife, man, we watch some shit. Sometimes we go to the movies. Like, we go back and forth. We go to the movies. Sometimes we watch a movie in, in German. But if it's like a Marvel movie, like a, <laughs> like a fucking, um, nah, I can't say that. Because we watch fucking Black Panther. I watched Black Panther for the first time in German. Oh, nah, you're wild. <laughs> and I felt, I felt, I felt like weird the whole time in the movie theater, like watching these African ass niggas. Yo, I like, would've been dead. Say all this shit, all this African shit in German. That's you know crazy. Nah. And they was trying to like do the African accent in German and shit. <laughs> nah, like, not, not for a movie that big. Cause it, you nah. know, I, I couldn't take that risk. That's a risk. I know you felt weird. In yeah, it. I felt weird. Okay, but there. can you understand German like a little bit? Yeah, I understand German, but it's just, it take away the effect of, of some movies, you know what I'm saying? Like Black Panther, like you want to hear that in in English, you know? <laughs> yeah, if I, like if I, like certain movies, like with the German, I I feel like it's like watching, you know, like the you know like the Chinese karate movies. They be like speaking before they mouths move. Yeah, they mouth be like, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> yeah, and I feel like I literally, <laughs> I literally feel like it's like that the whole time. Yeah, them old Bruce Lee movies yeah. and shit. Facts, but I mean, like I said, it depends. If it's a new show and it's in German, I, I'm cool with it. I can read the subtitles and shit. And I just get used to the voice because it's like certain actors. But if I know that, like the actual actors and actresses, yeah, like nah, it gotta be. I hate the German dubs, man. I hate this. Sh- I can't. I hate having to look down at the motherfucking subtitles and try to keep up with the shit at the same time. You know what I'm saying? So knowing the only thing I can watch like that is anime. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm okay with it because anime, I be, you know, it's like really quick because you want to see the, it's, it's an animation. So yeah, you got to yeah. see the animation to understand. So I just read through the shit real quick and then I'm just used to it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But when I even prefer like the Japanese voices and shit. Exactly. exactly. No, I don't. You don't like anime? I like it, but only in English. Oh, uh, okay. I'm not going to listen to no nah, Japanese shit. The Japanese. But they be I going don't. ham in the Japanese dubs. They be like, oh, my Jap- God. Yo, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's they a be fact. going ham. Like, I, they I put, be all in that shit. That's a fact. They put more like, they make it seem more like action to that yeah, shit. Yeah, for right. real. They put a lot of passion in them voices, just like Tommy just did, that Kamehameha. <laughs> Nigga, the original. Nigga, when Goku do the Kamehameha in, in Japanese, Nigga, nigga my hair, the hair on my arm be standing I mean, up and shit. <laughs> I be feeling like that shit right there. Like, yeah, yeah, that's a fact. But, um, yeah, but other than that, nah. I'm, I'm, I'm but you tight. like anime, though? I do. What, what you watch? 
I mean, I haven't watched a lot of them yet because I used to really hate it, like, with a passion. I was like, oh, that's for only for children. Why y'all watching this? But Probably no. had a boyfriend that watched it. Don't this tell me Megan. No, 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 Megan no, the Stallion kind of, <laughs> look, Megan, <laughs> Megan the Stallion kind of made anime. I feel like it was a trend because a lot, she watched the anime. So I don't I even know she watching it. I yeah, didn't know nah, that nah, I was just saying in general, like, oh, okay. <laughs> no, nah, I'm dead ass. I was just saying in general. <laughs> so she probably hopped on the trend, you know what I'm saying? But nah, like, uh, anime is lit. Like, I don't know. Yeah, I fuck, I fuck with this since like young, young age. But it's we men, though. Like, girls, it's rare. I feel like more girls like it these days. But, like, they, it wasn't like a growing up thing. Unless it was like a Pokemon or some shit like, like that. Like a movie. The movies were good. I watched them growing up, but not the shows. The Pokemon shows? No, nah, I was I was anime home. Movies. Anime movies. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only, only one I'm really into is Dragon Ball, though. I fuck with Naruto a little bit and, like. Uh, a few other ones, but Dragon Ball is my shit. Like I know nah. everything about that shit, and I ain't shame. I'm not ashamed. Yeah, of it. yeah, yeah. Nah, I fuck with the Dragon Ball too. <laughs> That's bro. why Goku up on the Naruto um, is Naruto is wild, bro. That's like one of the best animes. I it's think hard it, to find it. I think it topped Dragon Ball Z, bro. No, 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 no. I know it's original, but it it definitely naruto was really a good story bro it's a good storyline went on for 20 something years bro dragon ball z was but was dragon good. ball z still going on today though yeah but it's but a lot of people they don't get as many views as like dragon shit. ball super and they making like more money now than ever man because of the nostalgia because people like me who grew up on it they watching it and the kids watching it too people be going hand like it'd be like comic cons with like 40 year old niggas with fucking Goku wigs I mean, on, of course. doing I mean, the Kamehameha. It, I, I wouldn't take it that far, but it's people who just like super duper fans, just like a Marvel or some shit. Like that last movie, that Broly movie, they came out. Oh yeah, with, that was really good. They made yeah. like a billion off of that, that was shit. Really good. Yeah, yeah, I but, mean, it's 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 a good, it, you know, it's a good, uh, it's a good anime. But I, I don't know, I like Naruto. It was a little. I fuck with Naruto too, but I ain't never just watched it from start to finish. You know. Oh, okay. Yeah, because it's a lot. Like. Investing in the anime, like if you want to watch an anime from start to finish, especially that went on for twenty years, <laughs> it's a lot to just start yeah. from one and go all the way to the end. And That's shit. how I feel about the One Piece. I can't like <laughs> yeah, a lot of people. Too many yeah, episodes. a lot of people tell me to get into this anime, but like I started and I'm like, yo, because you know back then they put more fillers in the animes, and I, I don't One really Piece, like that filler shit. Yeah, too I don't much. like that shit, and they got too much, so I'm just like, nah. I watch a little bit and then I'll stop and I forget everything, and it's like pointless because the episodes are still ongoing today. So I'm like, fuck it, I ain't never gonna watch this shit. Yeah, I can't <laughs> get into it, but yeah. Um, so you are about to move to America, right? Mm -hmm. Lived in Germany your whole life. Yep. You been to America before? Yeah, uh, it's been a couple of years, like 2019 or so. Where, where, where did you go? Uh, Florida and Georgia. Florida and Georgia, and you like you like Florida and Georgia? That was cool. Yeah. Like yeah. where in Florida? Like where? Uh, Miami. Miami, of okay. course. Of course, lit. And of like course. Atlanta and shit. Oh, yeah, that's lit. Yeah. You went out there on some vacation shit. Mm, no, visiting my ex boyfriend. <laughs> Oh, uh, okay. Did you have like so you, you <coughs> like the experience in the States and being out there? Yeah. Better vibe than Germany or Yeah, I don't know, I just don't like Germany. It's weird over here. Like the people are weird and they stare and it's just so small. Everybody knows everybody. Like you can't do shit without anybody knowing. Yeah, okay. I don't know. That's everywhere though. Like if you get mm. somewhere you meet enough people, like everybody gonna know everybody business and shit okay but over here it's just really small like you know how small germany is yeah i know how small like you germany can drive is. to a city six hours away i'm like oh i know you you're from nuremberg like, i went to spain and i met people there from nuremberg i was like nah i can't do this yeah so you want to completely so you completely want to leave europe in general like because you because um, if you're saying if people saw you in spain then it gotta be kind of Yes, but no. I guess I'm just going to move there first, see if I like it. Because I don't know how it is to live in the States, you know. I went there to visit, but that's it. Mm -hmm. So And now you're going there to live. Yeah, so we're going to see if I like it, if maybe I hate it. I don't think so, but. but <clears throat> I want to know if you, you know, at the liberty to discuss it, like, what are the circumstances of you moving to the States? Like, you got a, a man that you're going to. Uh, shack up with or you got like some family over there that you're going to live with or like because it's not easy for somebody who full german to just go there and live like you gotta have something set up over there and shit like that you know what i'm saying yeah so right now i have a visa <coughs> it's like 
for two or three years. I'm not sure. Really? And, yeah. I didn't know they gave out visas for that long. Mm-hmm. Yeah, me neither. It's like I do it over this like pro- program. So it's like this agency and they help me with it. Okay. And I'm going to go over there, watch some kids, and I want to build up my modeling. So that's really the main reason why I want to go. Okay, so you're going out there for. Oh, it's like an au pair program then. Mm-hmm. That's dope. Oh, okay. I know about that program because I have an au pair. You do? Yeah, I've had like three by now. From where? The first one was from Mexico. Mm. She lived with us for like a year and some change. And she was cool. And, you know, she got to see a lot of things. And, you know, she had a nice experience out here and shit. And we had another one from Brazil. She didn't work out, but I'm not going to go into why she didn't work out. But she didn't work out. And now we have one from Kazakhstan, the same place Borat from. Mm. (laughs) <laughs> and she's working out pretty good too but yeah i'm familiar with like the exchange program of au pair shit yeah it's because i didn't want to marry somebody just to move you know so i, was I looking feel you for a i feel like a lot of girls i feel like a lot of girls that. take that route i was gonna yes, ask that i was exactly, like exactly they do that and i didn't want to do that so i was like i was looking into different options and you know that was just the best one yeah, I feel you. I feel you. That's definitely better. Yeah, because it's moving like, out there with some dude. Exactly, because it's exactly. personally her. It's off based off her. You know, her goals, her actions. I feel like when some, you know, I ain't gonna say no names or nothing, but when a lot of women that do do that, that's a reason to go to the states just to get married. It's, I mean, there's a lot of attachments and problems that come with that. Shit, Hell you know yeah, because I mean? like what these chicks out here don't realize, like you don't. You don't really know these dudes, these army dudes that you're hooking up with, you know what I'm saying, in hopes to get flown back to America. And they, like, they two different people. Like, when they, like, a lot of dudes come here and reinvent themselves and shit, you know what I'm saying? And they piggyback off the stigma or the the, the rumor that soldiers got money, soldiers this, soldiers that. You know what I'm saying? And they it's a whole Gangsta different shit. story when you when you really hit your ride back to them states. And they go and you, home. And they go home and you see who you really dealing with and you yeah. can't leave. He know you can't leave. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? A lot of chicks get a rude awakening when they when they get over there. You can know I, what I'm can saying? I, can I can I put a I'm gonna put something to that. It's go ahead. for example, for the reinventing. <laughs> like when my experience in the army, I feel like there was a lot of niggas that I was, you know, I would never hang out with. You know, if I wasn't in the military, but because, you know, black people, you know, kind of in the infantry, you kind of stick together and shit. So, like, yeah. you know, a lot of them was talking, especially when I came to Germany, they was talking about a lot of shit, a lot of shit they was doing. You know, of course, I take a person's word, you know what I'm saying? But then when I, I look at them now and shit, I see, like, a lot of niggas just come out here, just be talking. The girls just be so in, <laughs> into it, bro. So into it. So into it. Don't get me wrong. There's some, there's some of them. They, they, you know, they kind of really about what they talking about or whatever, yeah. but a majority of them, nah, bro. The rumors are true. <laughs> like, the all the rumors true. you hear about Germany before you come to Germany, like, oh, German girls love, love some niggas. That's definitely true. <laughs> I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say all German girls. I wouldn't say all German Just girls, the, but it community. is, within a, the community. it is a section of women it's, out here. Yeah, within the them ones. communities. Yeah, it's always the same yeah. ones. And you know the ones we talking the about. The ones that go to the one. <laughs> So a lot okay, of them that go to the I wrong one. I don't want to just call I'm out the one it. goers. I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. Because let's keep, we got we to keep it a rack, right? It's pop, go, go we got to keep, keep, keep it a rack. rack. Keep it a rack. Keep it be a lot. It's the ones that's within, because a lot of soldiers go to the one. Like, come on, you got to be real. Like, they go to the one. So yeah. that is where a lot of it happens. I'm not saying the one. I'm not trying to get the one a bad name. Nah. But niggas go to the one. That like, is what it is, though. All the, if you... Facts. <laughs> if you in the community of chicks that love soldiers and black dudes, and you're a black dude who who in Germany and you want to partake in some German women, you go to the, the one is the place to go. Yeah, uh, you know what I'm saying. That's, <laughs> everybody it's, knows. It's the one or like the K Town area. Yeah, or the K Town yeah. area, the fucking Euro Palace or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying. That's why all that. Goes Mark down, Tal. but I, look, I ain't. T- look, but I, I'm gonna say this: I ain't saying nothing. And that's bad. not a bad. Thing. I'm not saying that nothing bad about that, or, or about the women <laughs> that make that you know that are into that. Whatever. Yeah. Got the but, jungle fever. Exactly. <laughs> whatever. Whatever. But all I'm saying is this: keep it a rack. Like, like a lot of women gotta be, you know, just just careful a little bit. You know, what I'm saying, have fun, but be careful and know what you're getting yourself into because a lot of these niggas is not like that. Nah, girl. they not. You heard? Like, they not like that. So I'm sure I'm sure well I'm not sure you know, but I'm sure you've had your run ins with uh guys who ain't 
really about what they talking about yeah but i'll try to not really mess with military guys okay but you probably have to learn that my, though yeah because my ex was military okay and then after him i was like nah i'm good is there like a limit to that to when like you you realize like oh shit like for I'm me like, like yes in, but i have friends who just keep doing it over and over and over and again i'm like what the fuck well maybe that's what's because that's what's available to it's them that you jungle know? fever they, that's what, you know there's certain <laughs> things that but it's like it's like when you make it's cool to do it but it's like when you make that <coughs> choice to get married and then Go but the a lot of them ain't really because a lot of German girls come back. I like most a lot of, of most back. of them come bro, back. Most of them and come back, up bro. Too. Yeah, well, I, I ain't say all that, <laughs> but you like, like a lot of them come back. So like I don't know. Like, but some of the chicks just like because my girl, she got a friend. I'm not gonna say no names or nobody gonna know. Who she, I'm gonna tell the story anyway. <laughs> 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 but she got a friend that like specifically goes to the one. She's like a dancer and shit. I must, that's the last <laughs> piece of <laughs> information nah. I'm giving. Yo, yo, you wrote that down? Right, bro, we have to figure this but out. But she goes after. to the one specifically to fuck black dudes, you know? And she has no, and she don't want no attachments to him. Like, she's just trying to get fucked. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, look. If and she's straight she... up about it, you know? She's not a, she's not even attractive, but she know. Nigga, I, I've been in the, nigga. <laughs> I'll be in the DJ booth at the one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I see everybody. Yeah, yeah. You ain't even got to be a like a bad German chick to get a dude in the one. You know what I'm saying? I be seeing the fattest of the fat women. The Nothing wrong with fat women. Nothing wrong with fat women, you know. It is something wrong with that shit. Get, that shit is unhealthy. But if you fat, I'm not like... I'm not trying to fat shame you or no shit like that. But I'm just saying like you be seeing some some dudes like me and you. Like hugged up, drunk as shit. <laughs> <laughs> hugged up with the widest chick that you ever seen. And I'll be like, God damn. It's like that out here. When he wake up in the morning, he gonna be like, what the fuck did I just do? <laughs> but it'd be funny. But look, but look I can tell you this. I can tell you this. We keep it a rack with a lot of niggas. A lot of niggas gonna be bad at me saying this. <clears throat> but a lot of niggas, right? You know, I, I can't I'm, I can't really say no names either, but a lot of niggas, they wasn't getting no play like that in the States. In the States, yeah. Because they not like that in the States. And you know in the States. Yeah, women are different. Yeah, here. when you, when, and I'm not saying nothing bad about the women out here. I'm just saying this is it's a different, you know. It's a different saying? dynamic. Different, yeah, exactly. But a lot of these niggas that are home, bro, like, you go, they go to the club, like, you know how it is. Like, you go to the club, like, if you don't got, I'm not talking about just money and shit like that. If you don't got, like, a place to stay. Yeah. Out here, it's a little different. Like, you know, most women will say, you know, like, you can come back. They will offer to, you a yeah, place they, to stay. Yeah, they'll offer you a place to stay. <laughs> <laughs> you know is what I mean? Is that true? I mean, I guess I don't do that, but I know a little I'm people sure you know do. some but people it, who would. Who would. But again, do. like, a lot of German girls that <clears throat> would listen to this, that's that's them, they will be mad at us. I'm not saying that's yeah. wrong. Yeah, hit Definitely. dog or holler, as yeah. they say. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not saying what they're doing is wrong. I'm just saying, like, in the States, niggas wasn't getting that play. Mm -hmm. And out here, they it's do. like they lie to, the, lie to these <laughs> girls, like, you know? Mm -hmm. And it's like, no, nah, they do what they got to do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they, they do what they got to do. Because they got to understand they only out here for a short period of time. They know they're leaving. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, they know they're leaving, so they trying to get how they live. And I don't even blame them, you know? <laughs> 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 I don't blame them. Yeah, you, know, you know what I'm saying? But... But yeah, y'all. But you know, you can still go to the one. We're gonna turn up in there anyway. Yeah, we're gonna turn up in the one. But you know, not in that way. But you know, I've been out here ten years, man. I seen it. I seen the whole the whole nine, you know, from my experiences, from friends' experiences and shit, you know. Shit get wild out here with you know, in them situations. <laughs> in the streets. <laughs> That's a good word. But like, um, do you have friends that go to the one specifically to get to like bag a soldier or some shit like that? You keep it a whole rack. Don't be up here lying for no girls. I, I used to have a friend who was like that. I cut her the fuck off. Oh yeah. But yeah, she was definitely like that. She was claiming she's not like that. Da 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 da. But she literally had another military dude every week. Not every week. I was week. like, oh. damn, that's crazy. I was like, I can't deal with you. She was probably in the one every Saturday, huh? 
That was during lockdown. Oh, okay. Yeah. Damn, she was doing like that during lockdown? Oh, yeah. yes. Oh, she was determined. <laughs> and it's like, I have <laughs> a bitch lot was breaking of, curfew. I have a lot of military <clears throat> friends, you know, but I don't fuck with every single one of them. Okay. Like, okay, can I, so can I ask you something honestly? Because I'm, right, I'm keeping ahead. it around. I'm from New York. Go ahead. Have you ever, like, did you have any, like a time like that? In your experience of I was dating, like hoeing around. everybody got yeah, a hoe face. Around. Yeah, like just I keep never it around. You I never had a hoe face. Come on, you coming? She coming with the cat? Nah, look, she coming with that every time. Every time I say that, <laughs> don't nobody believe me. Everybody, how old are you? Twenty one. Twenty one. You still got time to have a hoe face? It might come. Shit. You probably I mean, get to know. Texas and now nah, just playing. <laughs> 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 nah, but I think I think a whole phase is healthy though. You know what I'm saying? Everybody should, you know, get that out of their system so for sure they don't get like all curious oh, when no. they get into their relationship. You just got to be shit. careful of the choices that you make. Like you, yeah, you got to be careful. Catch nothing. These guys be yeah, just exactly. fucking everybody and everything. That's just nasty. That's like I'm main, disgusted. Yeah, that's the main thing. You just got to watch out. I mean, it's, again, I don't knock no female that's going out there that's <laughs> doing that, right? You know what I'm saying? It's, but at the same time like Gotta just be careful. A kid can come with that, and the SCD can come with that. Yeah, true that, true that. You know what I mean? So gotta watch who you laying down with, swapping energy with, and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But you still need a hoe face. Everybody need a hoe face. Gotta get that out of the system, man. Why do you man. need one? It's not necessary. To Maybe have a not so face. much for women. Maybe, but men. Yeah, that's, we that's got different. testosterone b- p- pumping all through our veins and shit. And like every man is a little bit of a pervert, and they need to get that shit out of their system when they're young, so ain't no ain't no temptation when they settle down. You know what I'm saying? Because they can be like, I already been there, done that, seen that. You know, now I'm with my wife and my family. Right. Yeah, but I feel like girls can feel like that too, in a, in a sense. I'm yeah, that's what I'm saying. Girls probably like need a whole phase too, so they can get all exactly. that, so they can see what they like. You know, it's all it's also it's a, it's like growth. A, it's you need to explore. You need exactly. to experience different things to so you know what you like and what you want. Yeah, so you don't get into a long term relationship exactly. with somebody and then realize, damn, I settled down too quick. I don't like some this women, motherfucker. Look, some women, some women, <clears throat> there are some women out there that will leave a long term relationship because you know the sex just for the I sex. That. You know what I mean? So like I think you know, anybody should leave a bad sexual. Right. Yeah, of course, but you know. Cause the sex ain't right. Yeah, the, it ain't right. Yeah. <laughs> that ain't gonna work. It ain't gonna work. Exactly. I've been but, in a relationship like that, that before. But that whole, you know, the little hoe around phase will teach you that you'll know. You know, for the first time that you do something with this person, you know, if it's you yeah. don't need a hoe face for that. I mean, but you, you exactly what Tommy said. You get. But what to, if you would have? You would have? You dating a dude, right? Right. Y'all smash. You don't like it. You, I'll cut him off. You cut him off. <laughs> you date another dude, y'all smash, you don't like it, you cut him off. Before you know it, you 10 dudes down the line. <laughs> Before you like like the dick. Pause. <laughs> I ain't even feel right yeah. saying that shit. Hey, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Before you like the sex, that could be considered a whole phase. Because you slept, slept with 10 men. Exactly. To find the one you want. You yeah, exactly. <clears throat> exactly. Let me ask you this, though. You go out on a date with a guy, right? How long? First off, how long do you make a guy wait until you know mm, you get to shoot always, the club up? It always depends. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like it depends on the situation, how y'all vibing or whatever. Okay. Because I don't just fuck anybody. Like like I said, that's nasty. But y'all. you don't got no set rules on like you no, gotta wait six months, nigga. No, that's bullshit. Okay. I don't know why people do that because it's not the same with everybody. Mm-hmm. You know, every guy is different, just like every female is different. I feel you on that. <laughs> Chris. That's yeah. true. So if it happened the first night, it happened the first night. It's not gonna happen the first night, but I guess. So it's never happened the first night in your it life. It happened once in the first night. Oh, yeah, well, don't I, say that. That then. was once. I was about to say, nah, I keep it a whole <laughs> stack, nigga. It's not gonna happen again. Okay, that's what you say. I don't feel like nothing wrong with that either. If it, if it flow like that. It's and it go it like, that. like that. It be like that. Sometimes. Look, yeah, it be look, like that. Sometimes. I'm gonna keep it a rack. If you young, so you feel me? Like it's it's cool, man. Do what you gotta do. You need that growth. You gotta you gotta find that person to grow. Something like you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but be careful though. But be careful. Right. That's it. You know what I'm saying? It's dangerous sleeping with motherfuckers you don't know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like it's a lot of shit. A lot of consequences that come. Exactly, especially it's, one of the consequences we talked about. Like when it comes like to the you know to females. 
you know, females are going to always have that bad stigma of like how many people they slept with and stuff like that and blah, blah, blah. And guys, guys that's done with that phase also not going to sleep with, a, you know, be with a girl that they found out they had like 20 bodies or something like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you got to keep that in mind too. Because yeah, when a man want to settle saying? down, he don't want to, he don't want to check this. I, I know it's bodied not, up. Exactly. Even though, like, yes, it's equal. Like, everybody should have the whole face. You got to be careful. That. Yeah, because you guys, said that guys, earlier. Guys be having body counts over 80, 90, 100. And then a female comes around, oh, my body count is 25. And that's a problem. I don't yeah. understand that. It's, it's, honestly, it's a double standard. It's a double standard thing. I understand it, though. No, I don't. As I a mean, man. I understand it as a man. <laughs> I understand it as a man, but I understand it is a double standard. Yeah, I understand how a woman wouldn't want a man who's slept around so who has a hundred bodies and shit you know what i'm saying a hundred bodies is kind of excessive but <laughs> as i was telling uh the last shot that was on our podcast like you also don't want a man who's not experienced and don't know you know what i'm saying how to how to how to do the you do. know do the do <laughs> do the <laughs> deed <I guess. laughs> you know what i'm saying you don't want a virgin you, nigga you want a female who's not experienced because most guys be tripping if a female got a high body count i would be tripping if a, if a woman had a high body there count go. i just i mean i don't want a woman that has a high body count because i don't do want to have a high body count we're not talking about my body <laughs> okay, but, but, like she, but, but look she made I'm, a, ex, I'm experienced i'll but say she that made a much. good point though like females also gotta get that's how they get that experience to you know but a dude, if the dude the experience first, like if a dude experience, he can just grab the chick and do shit with her. You know what I'm saying? He can just fling her around and do shit, put her in the positions and in the headlocks and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? She ain't got she ain't got to she ain't got to do nothing. You know what I'm saying? And she can learn over time how to do things. But if the dude don't know how to do shit, <laughs> so you want a female to just lay there? No, I don't like, want a female to just lay there. But females know the basics at least. Nah, they get it through the experience, gang. They get it through. The- <laughs> Nah, they do. Man. I bro. would rather che- teach a woman than benefit off another man teaching a woman some moves. You know what I'm saying? I would rather mm-hmm. teach her the moves. I want her doing no moves she learned from no other nigga. <laughs> if you learn it from another female, that's fine. Huh? If you learn it from another female, that's fine. Yeah, bro. This double standard that's game. What I was that's saying. a good. That's like, a good point. See. But I feel like no. I feel like men don't learn nothing from women though. You just, men learn shit you from just porn. Said, you just said if the look, men learn men, moves from porn. No, you just no, said no, no, you just no, said no. the sex. You just said the like sex is is basically like if the sex is bad in a relationship, that's a that's a reason to leave. Yeah. Right. So you sitting there trying to teach teach a bitch that you know what I'm saying you gonna still gonna be like. You gonna be like this shit, wack. but a chick right? can be this shit awkward. This well, damn bitch, you don't. You know but what like saying? I said, you, you can just like you that. can just grab the chick and do shit with her though. Like you don't, she don't. If you if you, I don't want to get too deep into this sex talk, <laughs> but if you smashing right and the chick take over, she riding or whatever. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, <laughs> and and you see that she ain't got no rhythm or something. You know she don't know what she's doing. You grab a waist and you and you do it yourself. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But a woman can't just grab the dude and be like, this is how you fuck me. <laughs> you know? Is that not true? Is that not true? I mean, nah, bro. That th- I don't know. I don't know. I get I mean, what you're I, saying. I feel, I feel that neither party, like both parties should be experienced, but you got to get some bodies for the experience, though. Unless you Whatever. practicing on dolls and dildos and shit. What? Yeah, I guess some fact. girls do practice on dildos. But we getting too much into the sex. <laughs> we getting too much into the sex. But speaking of sex and something that could happen um, <laughs> <laughs> with sex is uh, um, premature childbirth. And that's something that's going on in the States right now with uh, abortions and whether you're pro-choice or, um, you know, pro-life and um, the government starting to get a l- like involved in the whole situation, and then they tr- in a lot of states are like passing bills and legislation that's like blocking, making it illegal for women to get abortions. And like, if you get an abortion, you and the doctor that that did it go to prison. You know what I'm saying? Which is wrong. Which is which is wrong. I don't know the state specifically, but I do got like a video with like Trevor Noah. He was talking about the shit. Cause they trying it's a it's a court case called Roe versus Wade, 
and it's they like set the precedent for like uh abortion to be um legal like federally but they trying to take Roe versus Wade away to give every individual state the the power to make the choice whether their state will um allow abortions or not you know what i'm saying yeah yeah of course that's fucked up yeah, we don't, we don't talk about it. decided Roe v. Wade, women in America have had the right to choose whether or not to have an abortion. And now it looks like that right is going away. Bombshell, the Supreme Court poised to strike down Roe v. Wade. That, according to an unprecedented leak of the justice's draft opinion overnight, a decision would alter the nationwide battle over abortion. The blockbuster story broke overnight on the Politico website, reporting that a draft of the Supreme Court's opinion shows the court overturning Roe v. Wade in a blistering ruling. Tensions flared outside the nation's highest court after an unprecedented leak. She's but the yeah, supposedly <clears throat> the Supreme Court already ruled that they gon they gonna throw it out in it in, a, in it, but they hadn't they announced it. it yet and they leaked yeah. it. Yeah, I heard about Rochelle this. report comes as five states have enacted strict abortion restrictions and sweeping bans. Many I think Florida, one of the states, and Texas, one of the care. states. If the high court does overturn, Roe so be careful Wade. in be careful in Texas. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. But yeah, if I'm not getting knocked up, if they if they um throw Roe versus Wade out like all these states are gonna ban abortion right now it's just like three states but all these states are gonna ban it if they do it <clears throat> that's crazy damn that's crazy man so where where do you stand on abortion and should women be able to to do it or not because you're going to be a part of this, uh, you know, when you protesting this stuff, you know, you're going to see that shit. <laughs> yeah. So you're going to Texas. They so you, protesting in you Texas. You got to know about this shit, you know? Shit might get crazy because that is crazy that they're trying to do that. That yeah. is crazy. What do, you think, what do you think about that? I feel like everybody should have the right to make their own decision, you know? So if you want an abortion, you should be able to get an abortion mm-hmm. because some people don't, some people don't want to have a child because they can give nothing back to the child. They, had, they don't have no money. They don't have no nothing. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you can't even give the child a life. So I don't know. I Which just causes like, more problems. Exactly. In my opinion. So but that, you, do, that mean, do that mean it's okay to like terminate a life though? Like the, the kid the kid ain't got no choice. You know what I'm saying? I'm just playing devil advocate right here. Yeah, I don't, these ain't my views or whatever, but I'm just, you know. But it's like, it's because it's people that believe like, you know, like, christians and like evangelists and stuff like <clears throat> like even in the case of rape they would say that 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 abortion is wrong because the kid wouldn't have had no choice over how they came into the world or who their father is you know because like a lot of kids with fucked up dads out there you know what i'm saying and i don't know man i don't know how i feel about it because <clears throat> they say like pro-choice like Women say, my body, my choice, you know. But at the point of conception, like at the point that you know you're pregnant, it's not just your body anymore, is it? It's the kid's body too, kind of. At a, But at, at a certain point. Cause I, I was supposed to say that. At a certain point because at first it's a clump of cells, you know what I'm saying? And as the months go on, then it, it grows and grows arms and eyes and fingernails and shit like that. And I don't know at what point is it a life, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Exactly. I mean, I get I get the whole concept, but at the same time, <clears throat> I still, because of the things that happen, you know what I'm saying? Rape, for example. Like, I feel like if a woman is raped, you know, in... I, th- I just feel like they should have that right to get that abortion, bro. Because, I mean, how you're also bringing into that child that's not going to be, let's say that the person that got raped kept the child, you know. I, I, do you even know if that, that parent's going to, you know, that's trauma, bro. Getting raped is a, tra- a traumatizing thing. Hell you know what yeah, I'm saying? It and is. To raise a and child. And to raise a child, the child of your rapist exactly. is and it's wild to remind even. You of it. And yeah, that's exactly. wild. Exactly. And not just rape. It's, you know, even though, yes, there are some people out there that make choices, they have. You know, but sometimes, I mean, some people don't even make the choice to, you know, to have a child and it may something happen, the condom, something with the condom broke or something like that. And they 
you know, and they still stuck with the child, you know what I'm saying? So they have to. Now, in that case, <clears throat> that's not so extreme as, as rape. Like, when of you have not, sex, but you should you should have sex, like, knowing that you could get you could get pregnant or I could get this woman pregnant, you know what I'm I mean, saying? of course not, but at the same time, like, you know when you have a child, the things that, that also that come, you know, let's say a, a parent that can't afford these things, and they, they exactly what she said, you can't give that, that child the best, you know, the best that, life yeah the shit. best life and shit like that and you say you're struggling shit like that man like you're already struggling to put food on the table that's another you know what i'm saying so well yes, there's people that would say you shouldn't have been fucking there. yeah of course i would say that but at the same time i'm talking about the woman herself she has the right she shouldn't have been fucking there. yeah but at the same time she has i still feel like if she wants to get that abortion she can it's her body bro she can do what she wants right. yeah like, True, you know what true, I mean? true, true, that, true. That's all. I mean, I understand everything that comes with it. Like, you know, when you really think about, okay, but at the same time, it's her body, bro. She can do whatever the fuck she wants. That's just how I feel about it. She, it's her body, but it's it's dude's kid. It's yeah, okay, I get it. But some, you know, some certain situations, they both make the decision too that they don't want the child. Now, what you know, what I'm saying. So, what would you say for a parent that you know they both make the decision to not have? You know, what I'm saying. I mean, I feel like I don't. I feel like nobody should have authority over that. You know what I'm saying? I don't even want to have an opinion to either side. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like, bro, you can't. I feel like if we didn't have the technology to abort, it wouldn't even be a question. Like people would be more, way more careful. But people were doing. That's not true. That people have been doing abort uh, before the whole. You know the. Medical ways that you know the new ways they can do it. People were sticking yeah. clothes hangers. They up were there still or doing something. it. They were still the it was falling down. Abortion was and still shit. a thing. So another thing is this, bro. You can, a lot of people can't fall behind these like, you know, you know, you get the Christians and all these people that you know that fall behind it, you know, against it. But at the same time, you can't make that something and then be allowing like and like I said, nothing wrong with transgenders, but being allowing shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like I think. You get what I'm saying? You can't you can't be for allowing people and being like, oh yeah, transgenders can, they can be wherever they can have bathrooms. And well, stuff the like same that, people, but, and then be against abortion. I get bro. what you're saying, but the <laughs> the people them not the same people though. The people that uh, are with the transgenders in the LGBT community, they not the same community that's pushing uh, abortion. I they know on, that they on I, two sides of the aisle. I know that, but they still have to go up to to the government, and the government's the one that grants these bills and these these. Yeah, but I'm saying like abortion, like making abortion illegal is like a Republican agenda, or or is it? I believe so because I just saw the states and those are a lot of Trump. Yeah, that's states, a Republican so. agenda and LGBT shit is democrat democratic. That's who pushing that shit. Like, yeah, but I don't know. I don't know. I feel like it shouldn't be. I should. I feel like the government shouldn't be making the decision. You know, it shouldn't be illegal. But I feel like. I don't know how I feel on that bro, subject, bro. It's when a Texas hard one. Push, when Texas passed that passed that bill, you saw the people that sat within the within that committee that made that passed that passed that bill. They're all they were majority were they were all men, bro. Like you can't yeah, that's you another can't fucked have up a thing female. About it. That's that's my point. You can't you know what I'm saying? You can't have a, make a, a bunch of men make a decision on something like you know, having a child and, and keeping the child. Like, you know what I'm saying? You got to have some type of women opinion on that, bro. Like, that's another reason why I think it's wrong. Like, they even passed that bill in Texas. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, that's just But it's opinion. women on the Supreme Court, and the Supreme Court want to throw out the whole shit. Yeah. So. I would have to see those votes because I don't know. I mean, just because this whole the Supreme Court might have, you know, ruled that they're going to do that but at the same time they have the vote so who who voted was it the women that were voting in there like how many votes i don't were think they reveal all that shit they just put out a fucking mm, probably not they put out a yeah. ruling no that they, they do reveal you just gotta you know we gotta look it oh, up okay. but you know you see who 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 like you know voted on it i'm sure it's not a lot of a lot of a lot of women that did that shit so i don't know because i feel like bro i feel like even us having this conversation, like, we can't even fully get the full grasp of, like, what it is to carry a child and stuff like that. And then, uh, uh, you know, having the child, 
Bro, yeah, we they don't, we definitely got to get some women ruling on it and shit like that. It's, it should at least be half and half, you know what I'm saying? But I don't know. I mean, I feel people who in dire situations and then they get pregnant and they're like, oh, shit, I can't even take care of myself. How am I going to take care of a child? And, like, having an abortion is, like, the scapegoat for that situation. But, like, you know, like, when I had my first child, I, I couldn't, I could barely take care of myself, you know? And... Shit, if I would have aborted her, she wouldn't exist right now. You I know what I'm saying? You. Thank God you. my my baby mama didn't want to, you know, go through with it. Because I ain't going to lie, you know. I'm sure the thought crossed both of our, our minds because the option is out there. You know what I'm saying? It's a scary situation when you're in that situation and you got somebody pregnant or you're a woman and you're pregnant and you know you ain't got no money. You live in a bad neighborhood or some shit, you know what I'm saying? And you like, oh, life hard and it's finna get but you, way you, harder. You pull through it and you, but some people don't have that, bro. They really fucked up. Like, they but really I will say like up. having a baby in that situation will make you get your shit together though. That's not true. There's a lot of people who don't and they get fucked There's up. There's a lot of people more. who do though, you know what I'm saying? I know for me, it yeah. all, like having a kid I always push me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got to. Make it to that next rung in life, you know what I'm Yeah, saying? but then, you look, bro, like, for example, you, you have somebody that's really in the hood and really, you know, they have that kid and they make that choice, right? Like, if that's the case, we wouldn't have people, you know, brothers locked up right now because niggas go harder to get that get that 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 bread and shit like that, more crimes than the kids without a father and shit like that. Like, come on. Like, but they you know? still alive, though, you know? Yeah, but... I mean, I'm not, like I'm saying, I'm not make saying life better, though. I, I feel like the choice, it should be a choice. You know, the government should not be able to come in and just be like, nah, y'all can't do that shit. You know what I'm saying? No matter what happens, you having that baby. I don't give a fuck if you got raped or you made a bad decision. Nah, that's not right. They shouldn't. They shouldn't be the authority over there. Just like the death penalty or some shit. I don't think the government should have the right to kill motherfuckers, even if they killed somebody. Because who is you to fucking commit murder just because this motherfucker committed murder? Exactly. You know? I feel like that, too. I don't know. Yeah, but... Definitely. It's gonna be inter- I'm just interested in if they really gonna throw that shit out and if like the whole United States is gonna be like a abortion free zone. And shit. Then, That's crazy. That'd be crazy. Like, bro, this that- is abortion legal in Germany? Mm-hmm. That's kind of wild. A lot I of shit is not legal in Germany. Time though. Like what you time? Can, you can't be like eight months pregnant and then get an abortion, you know? Yeah, even in the states now, you can. I think in some states you can be up to like six months and they'll abort the I'm kid. I'm not sure how it is in Germany. I have no Normally idea. it's like three something like that. Nah, like, nah, nah, that's od. Like that's three od. I'm against that. It gotta be like it like it like gotta be like no, yeah, no heartbeat yeah. type shit. Like I don't I know. I think up to like three months you can get an abortion in Germany. I'm not. Sure about that, but, but I think six so. months is OD. Now that six months is definitely now that's, wow. That's yeah. like that's something that I would say like, like nah. You have now you gotta have the kid. Like that's that's different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if it's like within the you know, the, like you said, the little molecules and shit. <laughs> Adams, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like the like, first couple weeks. Yeah, like yeah. you're good, but six months, nah. You should go to prison for that because you really if, killed someone. What if they made abortion illegal everywhere, but you could still take Plan B? So you got like a day. You got like 24 <laughs> hours. <laughs> but like what if you, you don't you, know you're pregnant? The dude know if he if he if he if he shot the club uh, up. No, no, no. Because I know people who got pregnant even though they took birth control every single day. Like, but the dude know if he if he got them cream pie you or not. I mean, but, <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, but still, like usually if you take birth control, you're not gonna get pregnant. But there's this one percent that will get pregnant. You can't control that. How are you gonna know you're pregnant? I mean. I don't know. I'm, I don't have a uterus. I don't know. I'm not in the female body and no shit like that. But it's like, I feel like some chicks do know when they're pregnant, though. They feel it's nah, a different it's a feeling. Way. It's a yeah, hormone they gotta do change. Away. They got to do away with birth control and all that. It should just be like, yeah. Yeah, no, con- it, no, no condoms. <laughs> No plan B's. No plan B's. No nothing. No fucking. If you fuck it, you know you're going to have a fucking kid. Yeah, so you better you, make the right yeah, choice. Yeah, you better make the right choice or you got them. <laughs> Who you linking up with? 
Yeah, I swear, bro. Trapping condoms. Niggas, I, be I, a condom black bro, market. Bro, <laughs> bro, watch that be like, watch this shit. If they pass that shit, watch it be like, like the OD, like niggas gonna be OD on like child, you know, the child slavery shit. I, I promise you, that shit gonna go up. The rate What gonna you go mean up. the child slavery like, shit? Like people that be selling their kids and shit, bro. There's like people that do yeah, that Human shit. trafficking shit. Human trafficking shit. <laughs> that shit gonna rise, nigga. That shit gonna rise. kids on the black market? They gonna be like, yo, okay, are we having these kids that I didn't want? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. I mean, a lot it's gonna go crazy. A lot of people just their kids out at a, like the fire station or something in the middle of the night. A lot of people do that. that. Yeah. A lot of people do that. Yeah. I knew it happens occasionally, but you said a lot of people do that. There's gonna be a lot of more prostitution going around in the states all types of shit <laughs> i only seen go, that, go that type crashing. shit in like uh in like movies and shit where like a chick will leave her baby in a dumpster yeah, see that's where i got it from <laughs> let's see i don't know that in shit actually happened nah, in real yeah in, that, i've seen that, that shit in movies happens, nigga that shit real life gang. they'll leave that's a baby on a doorstep or some right shit no nah, nigga they just nigga they just in somewhere in new york they then they yeah. the the girl that got her on surveillance throwing the baby in the yeah, dumpster and so peeling nigga yeah. like what and then she and, and she was, and it was outside the hospital where she had the baby. Okay. <laughs> Yo, I mean, niggas. I mean, people be doing crazy shit with with babies and shit. Sometimes chicks be freaking out and like shaking the fuck out of their baby and and killing it and shit. Shit is OD. True. That's what I'm saying. So like, it's no joke to have kids. People watch who you sleep with. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> Watch your pull out game if you ain't wearing condoms and shit. If that thing ain't too good, goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> Slip out that motherfucker. Don't let her be on top when you know you about to pop, goddamn. Push her off if she try to lock them legs. <laughs> shit, that's a fact. It's a big responsibility. It's fun when you in them sheets, goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> but when you get that phone call. Oh, when you get that late text. What the what? Why you said in that song? <laughs> <laughs> it's over. Oh man, I got some stories, but I'm not gonna tell them out of respect. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. It's pretty crazy that America. It's crazy what America is turning into, man. And I just be watching like popcorn, like damn. Is she going to Texas? Popcorn. <laughs> yeah, she you going? moving to yeah, that you crazy moving motherfucker. To that motherfucker? I'll be fine. Yeah, you'll be. I'll right. be Chilling out here, nigga. I be like, what? Somebody say, huh? <laughs> <laughs> nigga, what? Nigga, I, I be like, yo, listen. Expect, I be like, expecting <clears throat> Deutsch out this bitch. Yeah, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, nigga, that shit is crazy though. Like, states is wild. Like, for real, you gotta be, you know, be careful out there no, when you no. go. You know? Yeah, you definitely gotta yeah, gotta be careful out there, and not to scare you or nothing like. Like, you got friends in Texas. You're not just going out there and you don't know nobody. I know people in Texas. Okay. I'm not saying, like, have fun. Of course, you you can have fun. You can States. have a lot of fun in America. You yeah, know that. Yeah, have fun and shit. But I'm just saying, you know, just got to be, you got to just watch yourself a little more these days. Yeah, it's not like yeah. these Germans, these I Strazes. Know. It's not the Strazes. It's different. It's the streets. My, my mouth be ruthless. So. Nigga, mm. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. And Shorty's got the, listen, Shorty's got the. shot in listen, the leg listen, or something. Texas, wait, hold on. In Texas. In tech, in Texas, you can't, um, you can't, you can carry all the weapons and all that shit. Yeah, yeah. So you know, open carry state. You know the girls out there got some shits, the hammers and shit. Yeah, you might want to scrap up out there. Yeah, that's a fact. <laughs> Get you a little pink something. Pink. Yeah, why pink. not? They make pink guns in America. I don't want a pink gun. You don't think that's cute? No. <laughs> <laughs> you wanted to be, uh, you wanted to be gold plated or some shit. <laughs> no. Nah, but yeah, but just be careful out there in the streets. Is, they wild. But it's fun in Texas. I used to live in Texas for like two years when I was Fort. in the military. What, like Fort Hood? Yeah, I was on Fort oh, Hood, God. but I, you know, I said I had an apartment in Colleen. Mm, but it was nice out there. What? Nah, I was saying, nah, nah, nah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, but it was nice. You know what I'm saying? Not, being in the army out there wasn't nice, but when I was off work and just in the, like, with like normal people, Normal people. Yeah, it was. I had a good time in Texas, and you probably will too. <clears throat> but watch, watch them soldiers out my there. Dad, They'll get pop. you out there too. Nah. <laughs> my That's pops. the first question I'm going to ask. Are you in the military? Yes. Okay, I got to go. I mean, don't discriminate against. Yeah. Nah. There's, there's some good guys in the it's, military it's like too. It's like five percent. It's yeah. like five percent of good guys and ninety five. My pops lives in Texas. He from New York, and then he was like, you know, he was like, damn, Vince, this is the first time like 
I was, I was, he was like, I was, you know, I was walking down the street and he said he just walked past and shit. He just saw a nigga like just sitting in, in the, you know, in an open field. There's like three cows. He was like, he asked me, he was like, hey man, you good? He was like, nothing. I'm just watching the cows. He was like, that's the first nigga I've ever seen watching cows, nigga. <laughs> Motherfucker probably on acid or some shit. Yo, hey, you know, he said he never seen no shit like that. So, you know, a city nigga, but. But yeah, man, Texas is. I, I I lived in San Antonio for a little bit of my life, so like, it's I was really small, but it's it seems lit. There's a lot to do, a lot of amusement parks and shit, and yeah, it's a lot of people. Got Mexico right there, so that's, right. Yeah, it's a lot of it's a lot of Spanish people in. There's a lot of Mexicans in Texas, especially in San Antonio and like yeah. But yeah, but I heard Houston's lit. Like I heard Houston. Yeah, Houston lit. lit. Dallas, Austin, Colleen. Fucking like them bigger cities, the bigger cities, all that shit lit. It's like its whole, it's like its own ecosystem. You been, you been everywhere out there, like Houston. I visited everywhere, okay. but mostly I was in Colleen and Austin and shit like that. But, but it's hot as a bitch out there. It's hot as a bitch. Hell yeah, it it's is. better than being cold as a bitch. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I need my Four Seasons game. Nah, okay. I like the Four Seasons. I don't you know like what I'm snow. I can do without being cold. Right. I can do without nah, it. Nah, nigga, Texas hot boy. But speaking of being cold and trying to stay. Warm in the mid in the winter is another topic I wanted to discuss since we got a lady in the building. I want to see how she. F- I know how I feel about it, but I want to see how y'all feel about it, especially how she feel about it. Let me see if I got the video right here. I ain't even told you about this one, Vince. <laughs> it must be a fucking surprise. Me's a very freaky gal. <laughs> These are her so legs. She has a mustache. Earlier, and I thought it was dope until I went into the comment section. Some of the comments were really supportive, like all of the women, but then some of the comments were really, really ignorant. It would come to no surprise to anyone that the comments were like, ew, that's disgusting. One said, I almost threw up in my mouth. She's talking about being extremely hairy as a woman and not shaving. And then the one that really got me was just because women have hair doesn't mean they should. I, I don't even know what that means. Right? So I just really wanted to take this opportunity. Don't waste a minute. Don't wait a minute. It's only a matter of time. Some people tell me that I need help. Some people can fuck Did you off see and that? Did you see that? What do? <laughs> what are your thoughts? Some people tell me that I need. Okay. I don't know how I feel about that. So the topic is hairy women. Hairy women <laughs> on TikTok <laughs> and them trying to normalize women not shaving and being as hairy as men, as in not shaving their legs. Not shaving their armpits and not shaving the pom pom. <laughs> Having the bush, the 70s bush, not trimming it, no landing strip, <laughs> just a <laughs> we got it. Just a bush, funky bush. <laughs> <laughs> they collect that, they, they collect shit. They collect like a beard, <laughs> like a muff beard. Okay, I'm gonna stop. But. <clears throat> I understand that some women are more hairy than others. You know, you have different cultures of women. And some women just grow hair faster. You know, you got some women that like grow like unibrows real fast and stuff. And they have to pluck it all the time to fit like beauty standards and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? But men have to groom themselves too. You know what I'm saying? We just walking around nappy faced and you know what I'm saying? Not trimming shit up and shit. Cause you want to be presentable and uh, what's the word? Hygienic. Hygienic. I was about to say that. Yeah. And some niggas is not on that. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But, but how you feel about that? Before we give too much of our opinion. Mm, I feel like I don't have a problem with women having hair. You know, if you want to walk around like that, that's you. It's your own decision. But I wouldn't do it. I don't know. Cause it's nasty, right? It's not nasty. What is it if it ain't nasty? It ain't nasty, but it's just <laughs> that shit nasty. That shit nasty. That shit nasty. It's <laughs> not nasty. I mean, okay, like if you don't shave your legs or whatever, I don't think that's nasty. 
As a woman? Yeah, if you don't. How often your- How often do you shave your legs? No, wait. In the I- summer, winter time. In I the summertime, when, you, when you're showing your legs off. Mm-hmm. In the summertime. Mm-hmm. Like every two or three days. So if you see, okay, here's a question. If okay. you see a woman walking down the block and you just walking past, or you at the club, and you see, you look down, and you see she got hairy ass legs, what is the first thing that comes to your mind? You got five seconds of answers. One. Or like what the fuck? Two. <laughs> See exactly. Yeah, exactly. You exactly. like this bitch nasty as fuck. I wouldn't know. I would not say she's nasty. Okay. You wouldn't say what you would say. What the fuck? Because why would you say what the fuck? Yeah. Why would you because say it's what the fuck? Weird to me because I wouldn't do it. Why is it weird? Because like you're stumbling why are you around so a question. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I think I actually, that shit I nasty. actually seen a female with super hairy legs the other day at the pool. I was like. I, didn't, I was like, nah, I couldn't do it. I mean, you could do and it. She was like, yeah, bitch, I'm changing like, social norms. Again, again, I'm saying this. You can do it, but like, it's Majority nasty, of people like, don't think not, that shit how nasty. How is it nasty? I mean, I feel like, you know. Women shouldn't, shit, shouldn't have hairy legs like a man. Like, don't nobody... It looked like she was, like, playing a, a, a skit with her dude and she was sitting on his lap and had the camera under both of them or some shit. But it was really her legs. I mean, look, if there's a category of people who think that's beautiful, I guess I'm just not in that category who would say that is I mean, beauty. I don't think that either, no. They ain't me you wrong. You know what I'm saying? So, of course, I will be in the comments, too. Like, yo... So, I wanted, I don't know what the word for, if it's nasty or whatever. It's nasty. But, <laughs> <laughs> so, but you know, I'm just saying... To me, that's not that in my yeah, it's not a, it's definitely not attractive. Not attractive. To me. I'm gonna think it's nasty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna think that thing's funk. That shit, that thing's stuck. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna think. I mean, okay, if if you don't shave your coochie, that's a little nasty. Okay, <laughs> that, that's nasty. But if she not shaving but, her legs, what you gonna think? If her legs look like fucking. Bigfoot, Chewbacca, Chewbacca. Bigfoot. That's what I was looking for. Of course, she got the fro down there. On the cooch. Not and necessarily. It, nah. So she, she shaved the cooch but leave the leg hair? The fuck kind of logic is that? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Whatever. And you see Shorty's legs. Dim shits was... Shorty's legs was wild. Wow. Just, the, the mustache, she had more head than me on my legs, bro. OD. That's crazy. To show off. Yeah, that's a lot of hair. Nah, Look at this. OD. Look at this lady's legs, that's man. That's OD. <laughs> <laughs> And she got a mustache. Nah, I mean, she I'm, your but shit. she one of these earthy chicks with the with the dreads and all that uh, shit. Oh, that's why. Yeah. <laughs> she smoked like thirty blunts a day. Sometimes, bro. If I mean, you, okay, the mustache. Bro, they be, I don't understand. Bro, they be weird. outside with no shoes on, gang. Oh, and I, I be that. see, I be seeing yeah, that shit. That's just bro. so weird. She the one. I'm that, not. I'm not knocking she wanted, it. But she I just one of the like, chicks nah, that do the crystal deodorant shit, <laughs> but still be musty. Cause she don't wear anti post anti perspirant or whatever the fuck. I don't even know what that is. I ain't. You know, you ain't, especially in the one, right? Not to point at you and say the one, but I know. <laughs> I'm about to say, but I know, I know, I, I know you been in the one, and, and you be musty. and motherfuckers be musty, musty as a hell. motherfucker. Yeah, they, they and they be the hardest dancing motherfuckers eat, in that bitch. But you be so sauce that bitch like this. You be smelling that bitch. You be like fucking the club lit, nigga. Like hell. nah, it I take, have, I have my little body like, it, take, with me. it take me out of my zone for a second. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I be having my little spray with me. I be spraying it. That's what I'm saying. Oh God, look, it hits me. It hits me. It hits me, but I'll be like, you know, you gotta the person walks past you, so you you hit you use that moment, you're like, fuck it. I'm gonna go to the smoking session and get a little, little air in me. You know what I mean? That, yeah, that's but how for, I be but like. But for me, sometimes it be like it it like for me it be that one motherfucker that no Tommy guns, you know? And he come up to me like, Hey, what's up, Tommy? And he lead with his armpit and wanna hug me and shit, and he all sweaty. He like, Tommy, y'all was at your show and this and that, and I gotta I'm in this cloud of musk. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, like how can you come out of the house with no like that. fucking deodorant and you they they just be acting like they don't smell this shit like nah it's that motherfucker over right, there that's what's blowing me like don't you smell yourself I would be so insecure in the club Yo, if bro, I realize bro. cause sometimes you go places and you realize you ain't put on no deodorant yeah, right yeah, yeah, but so you, you can try go not, home and shit yeah but what if you can't go home when that, when that shit happened to me I try not to get too excited about nothing so I don't sweat <laughs> You know, 
I feel you. I try I not you to turn that. up about nothing. But I be thinking the whole time. Like, I be thinking the whole time. I be like, <clears throat> like I be like, damn, I I gotta put the odor in. I yeah. gotta get. I'm like, this I go whole to time. the bathroom and wash <laughs> my arm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 facts. <laughs> Facts, facts, facts. That's a fact. But I mean, I'm like self conscious the whole time. Like, damn, do I stink? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Facts, facts. But Cause I can you never because you can smell yourself, bro. Like exactly. when, you, when you take a shower and stuff, like you can smell yourself. You know, like, damn. But like some of these people that be in the one, I'll be like, I don't know, bro. I'll be like, damn. They be wilding. They be no really deodorant. Like it's the, just the thing to do. Like, yeah, I'm the musty it. motherfucker. Mm-mm. Like, how are you comfortable walking around? Girls be like that too. Smelling like that. that. Yeah, it be some girls. And I girls know some be girls. Having purses. You can put a deodorant in your purse. That's what I do. All right, I so always have it on me. I, I have bet, it on me right bet, now. Bet. Shit. So, here's a question Harry, girl. <laughs> <I'm musty arms. laughs> Which when she's Harry, she more likely to have musty arms. <laughs> she's more Not likely to have musty everything. Is that a stereotype? Are you stereotyping this new. <laughs> this new uh, if, if a girl got must, if a girl got hairy arms, she more likely to be musty. If I if I don't shave the hair in my armpits, they about to get I'm you. I'm more in the likely comments. to be be musty. They gonna get you in the comments. Yeah. Let them come. That's the engagement. <laughs> yeah, so, get so you shave your armpits. Well, I I picked up the practice of shaving my armpits because, as you know, like I was you know rapping all over the place for a long time, and I was known for like taking my shirt off on stage or right. while I was hosting or whatever. I was the tattooed dude with the sh- with his shirt off for a long time, and I didn't like how it looked in pictures when I would take my shirt off and it would be a whole bunch of hair under my arms and shit. Right. Like I would shave everything. I would shave my chest, my because I, I it just didn't it just didn't look clean. You know what I'm saying? And it looked way better in pictures when I didn't have no hair. You know. Cause my I'm I'm trimmed up everywhere else, but I got this bush under my arm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, in nice. the same way with a woman, like I don't want you to fucking raise your arm and I see a motherfucking puff, a, yeah, yeah <laughs> throwing in your armpit. You know what I'm saying? It's just just not sexy. You can do it to each his own, but you just wouldn't be, it, you wouldn't be my preference right. of woman. Yeah, facts. I get that. You know, cause it's nasty. Like I said earlier. But like you said, <laughs> said man. yeah. But like you said, it's like it's one of the. It's, I don't want to say the wrong thing, but it's one of those. The, you know the the double standards. Nah, and I'm talking about the you know the the girl the herself with the dreads. And I forgot the group that she said it, but you know the way she looked with the dreads. Yeah, she got the dreads. She wanted them earthy chicks. Your earthy chicks, yeah. You, you know. got the earthy chicks, and you got dudes who like them earthy chicks. Yeah, earthy exactly. Too. They probably don't wear deodorant either. <laughs> yeah. But. Like I like touching my girl legs and they all soft and nice yeah, and shit. Yeah, you yeah. know, I don't want to touch my girl legs and I'm like getting cut by stubble <laughs> and shit. You know, nice. I want that shit to be smooth and soft. You know, you know what I'm saying? Feminine. Gotta know how to sound. I want <clears throat> when you smack it. You you gotta yeah. hear, you gotta hit a. I want to hear that. I want to hear no. You know what I'm saying? Facts. <laughs> That shit got to like echo and Hell shit. Yeah. That shit got no echo to that shit. I want them shit. fucking hair killing the smack. <laughs> Yo. Oh that God. shit sound like some crispy bread or some shit. <laughs> like, you, like you buttering some bread. And <laughs> hey, you know, you know, you know the legs to start. Exactly. Start. Imagine like. You want to touch a girl leg and be like, damn, you got some nice soft ass leg. <laughs> you know. Yeah. <laughs> That started the whole thing. Yeah, like, the legs. I'm telling you, the legs started off. Imagine such some hairy ass legs. You just like damn. Some, something wrong if you turned on by some hairy ass legs. <laughs> Think you, you and you okay, on the okay, other okay. side. Wait, wait, wait. So what if you about to smash a female? And you touch her legs and it's all hairy. What you gonna do? When I was when I'm, I'm single, out. When, I'm look, out. look, when I was single, I would say I'm out. Or if I'm drunk as a motherfucker. Even if I'm drunk, I'm out. <laughs> Get up and leave. If what, I'm what single, if she's at your house, <laughs> she got to get the fuck out. You're gonna tell her that you're gonna like you need to get your ass on. You think I ain't kick kick some no, chicks out my house before? Shit, <laughs> that whole process, especially when you take a chick home, it's a delicate dance you're doing. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all don't know each other, and everything got to match up. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to get too deep in it, but like being. Extremely hairy, like one of them chicks. If I took a girl home, nah, and I pulled something. her pants down, and all that shit came out, <laughs> get the fuck out, Shawty. I'm sorry. 
Get yeah, the I'm fuck. Gonna th- yeah, facts. I'm gonna think she a dude off rip. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna like, think she a fucking wow. trans, especially in these days. Yeah, especially in these days, you got come on, you gotta be real. I'm gonna be, be like, careful. thank God gotta I seen the careful. legs before I seen the balls. Legs <laughs> 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 gonna be yeah, you know. Nothing against transgenders. Yeah, nothing against y'all. <laughs> but in that situation, you gotta get the fuck out. You gotta go. Yeah, yeah, that's a fact. Or if you at the crib, you just gotta play sleep. <laughs> you gotta be like, yo, I fell play asleep. Sleep. Hey, you gotta, of course, you gotta nah, sleep. she gotta get the fuck out of my eyesight, you nah, nasty, hairy you know, ass that's bitch. Your eyesight. Yeah, she gotta get the what fuck out of my. Look, what she if you stuck in, the, in, the, in, the, in a spot, you know what I'm saying? You gotta wait till morning, you know what I mean? Who? Gotta, it's my crib? Nah, who? nah, I'm talking about, I said if you was in, if you was at that person's crib, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, they got taxis. And- <laughs> <laughs> he's really trying to get no the fuck out of here. Ain't no stuck in no spot, man. Nah, he's really trying to leave. Yeah, I right. feel you, yeah, man. I feel you on that. Ain't I ain't doing the hairy shit. It's a, it's another trend on TikTok with chicks. Uh, I seen the video, but I couldn't find it to put it in the shit. But it's like a chick. She on the beach, got her bathing suit on, and her period is on, and she got no pad, and she just letting herself. Free bleed onto her fucking. <laughs> nah, you're wild. Onto her picnic. You're nah. Onto her picnic no blanket. I swear to God. Tommy, nah. And she That's a part disgusting. of the, the, the other, this other community called the Free Bleeders. <laughs> nah, you're bugging. No. They have protests where they go out on their period with all white pants on and shit and just let the shit flow. You're bugging. With no shirts yo, on, yo, with their titties see, out. Tommy, look, Tommy be wild, bro. I'm finna try to find that shit on YouTube. <laughs> Please, it's Tommy dude, be wild. First, like, hold on. I believed you with the with the girl eating shit. Okay, girl I, I eating believe. Shit. I believe. I believe you. You didn't on see that. that clip with the girl eating shit. But I don't believe you I on this. I seen one like a couple years back, but not recently. Yeah, I, I don't believe you on this. Well, one. What type of shit you be watching? I be watching some everything. Hence, <laughs> that's why I have a podcast so I can get some of this shit out of my system. Thanks. <laughs> Free bleeders. No, nah, I ain't going to try to do that, that shit. Disgusting. I'm going to have to figure that out. <laughs> it's a real thing though. I'm going to put the clip in the, in the final in the final show. But yeah, it's women who believe women shouldn't have to like what do they say at the protest? That, that they shouldn't have to wear pads and tampons. So you just want bleed like yeah, coming don't. down your I legs? Think, like- I think the core of their argument is that like feminine products are too expensive and like the That's taxes fact, on though. them are too high and women have to pay for them like regardless. And, and it's something men like the other half of the society doesn't have to deal with or pay for. So they should either get it for free or it shouldn't be taxed. And the free bleeding is like a protest to like how expensive like feminine products are and shit because they have to use them. Expensive as a motherfucker. (laughs) What the fuck? But you know, if you're not fucking, you don't need a condom. But women, if they menstruating, they need some sort of like shit that's gonna soak that, soak it up. I mean, I get what they're trying to say, but it's an extreme. Yes. You're gonna Measure. ruin your clothes. You're gonna have blood all over you. You're gonna of be course, all they have something. Nasty. Of course, they have something oh, to back no. that nonsense up. But okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Shit, crazy man. Yeah, Shit it's okay. Nasty. <coughs> See, that is nasty. That is what you call nasty. Yeah, it's it's nasty. Mm. Free bloody, free bloody girl, hairy <laughs> <laughs> girl, or musty girl. Which one is it? <laughs> I'll take a musty girl. I think yeah, over I that one. Say. Yeah, I take the busty. Musty yeah. and hairy. <laughs> Over a free bleeder? Yeah. yeah. All right. I just take them pheromones. Maybe it turn me on more, you know, <laughs> like an animal. I'd be, like, <laughs> <laughs> be smelling that bitch. Oh, shit. That's crazy. <clears throat> uh, Yeah, you wanted to talk about yeah, the yeah. young thug shit and shit. Should I play the clip yeah, before? Yeah, play the clip. Play the clip. If everybody doesn't know, you know, your boy Slime got locked, so. No felony charges following the police raid at his Atlanta home. Goodness gracious. They raided his home in Buckhead, and in addition Young to thugs, Rico and about. participation in criminal street gang activity counts he was hit with during his arrest on Monday, now he has seven new felony charges. 
That includes possession of marijuana with intent to distribute, possession of a controlled substance with intent to distribute, possession of firearm during commission of a felony, possession of sawed-off shotgun, sawed-off rifle, machine gun, dangerous weapon or silencer, God and three damn. charges of unlawful I participation in arson. criminal gang activity while employed by associated with a criminal street gang. Jesus well, Christ, don't raid my house and you wouldn't find all this stuff. <laughs> don't raid my house. Oh, they found all that shit. Not- they found all that in his house. All that in his crib, bro. So they basically they hit him with the you know. Like she said, they hit him with the charge, and then they arrested him. And then, obviously, after they do an arrest, they're going to raid the crib. Yeah. Raid the crib, found all that shit. That's stupid as shit. Um, bro. And I like, you know, I really like Young Thug and his music and shit like that. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, I fuck with Thug and his fuck music. fuck with his shit. But, like. Even though he don't be saying shit, that shit sound good. <laughs> that shit yeah, definitely facts. sound good. That nigga be living it. Nah, 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 hold on. I be like, hell yeah, Thug. He, he be saying, <laughs> look, look, look. Listen, man. He be saying some shit now. But that shit is what kind of got him locked up right now. Some of this shit. You know they using this music against him exactly. in court. That's exactly. They got what I'm like transcripts say. of his shit like written out. Bro, they have, bro, they have the dude, they have the dude where he, they tried to fly a drone mm. with a cell phone to an inmate. In the prison. A YSL member in the prison. They didn't do it. So what they wound up doing is getting a phone into the prison. So, like, the police basically gave somebody a phone within the prison to make them think that, oh, shit, they got the phone. Uh, and they had it wiretapped the whole time. It's been wiretapped since 2015. God damn. So, God they damn. have, they have you know what I'm saying, they have, they have thug to where he is making, you know, there's allegations of, you know, him making hits on people. You know, with the whole wife, wife, wife and, Lu- and wife and Lucci, Lucci and stuff like that. Supposedly, they put a hit out on him in prison. Exactly, and he had already been stabbed once. And they they also think that stabbing had to do with in him. You know, in prison, he got stabbed also a couple. I think a year before. Okay. They think that is also connected to young. You know, young yeah. Brother. They think they put the hit out exactly on him. You no, know, because they've been beefing since 2015, man. They it's, it hasn't been so public, but how stupid is that? If you in young thug position, why the fuck? You a multi-millionaire, one of the most relevant rappers in the world. On top. On top. Ain't nobody you can't work with. You know what I'm saying? And you don't have to say shit in your raps. You can just get on there and say, hip it in, hip it Yeah, yeah. And, and everybody going to be rocking with that shit. Right. You said. But you in, the, you in the streets calling shots, trying to get niggas whacked in prison. Cause you trying to keep it real, yeah, bro. And the thing is, like you Fuck said, he here, got man. all that millions, and it's like, bro, even if you want to, even if you want to play gangster, like be gangster, whatever, like, bro, you you can pay somebody to do that shit. You know what I'm saying? That's probably what he was doing. Though. Nah, they have him. That's the thing, bro. They have him talking. He's ordering hits. You know what I'm saying? That's just. Well, if you paying somebody, you got to send out the orders. Nah, not necessarily. I mean, yeah, yeah, I mean, true. That is true, but I'm just like saying. Are you supposed to like, telepathically tell niggas? I don't know. You're not supposed <laughs> to tell them. I'm saying, like, you could, okay, you don't got to be on the phone, nigga. I'll be yeah, like, you listen, ain't gotta be on I'll the phone. be like, look, yo, I just booked a vacation. All the members of my gang, we going to private island where nobody can be found, and we going to talk about the hits. <laughs> we going to talk Before about Before every it. hit, you taking a private yeah, island trip. A pri- How if I'm Young Thug? He making millions. He yeah, can go he got, somewhere. He always on private jets what? and shit. He can so. talk about it on the private jet. He can get off, it, nigga. Like, they'll probably <laughs> tap the, the private jet. I'll be probably. Like, we going to a private. Nobody will know what island I'm flying on. Except for the pilot. Them, pro- yeah. them pilots be snitching on them niggas. I, I, Pilot I, snitched on Juice Real and shit. Got him, you know what I'm saying, made him... End up OD because they had all this yeah, shit on I the pay, plane. Listen, if I'm top tier like that, I'm paying somebody within the game to get their pilot license. It's <laughs> so you're going you gonna to trust one of your niggas to fly the plane? Nigga, with, I, your I, scary, I, 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 look, look, with your scary look, ass look, on the plane? Look, look. look I think we going to end up in the cock be like, hey, look, hey, nigga, you straight up here? <laughs> look, look, no, look. I would, I'm just saying if I was thugged, I'd okay, be, okay. I would invest my money. <laughs> I'd put one of these niggas through flight school and be like, <laughs> Bitch, we flying to a private island. We go talk about this shit. Ain't no police gonna be no knowing that shit, nothing. And talk about the hits. And then, nigga, when you get out to the states, don't say nothing to me. I'm young thug back in the states, nigga. <laughs> but then <laughs> that's gonna link you too, though, because it's like when they find the nigga that 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 did did the shit, they're gonna be like, "What was y'all doing 
boarding this jet to go here. They will still need evidence. But that, that's, that link that still yeah, links you to a Rico case. I'll be like, yeah. and I'll be like, nigga, I'm a rapper. I had no idea. That was one of the people I grew up with. He's a family member. I didn't know he was doing all these things. Where's so the how evidence? You, how you paying the niggas? You paying them in cash? Or are you paying would, them over bank transfer? No, I, I was still like, I don't know. Nigga, I put that shit, nigga, I do that shit old school, put that shit in the fucking box. Nigga, like, bitch, it's over there. And it would even be me putting it in the box. But all young thug money legit. So if he giving you cash, he got to get it out of the bank. And what the fuck he getting a, a hundred thousand to pay out of the bank for? That he unaccounted for and shit. I'll be like, nigga, that's one of my, nigga, that's one of my. That's if a nigga snitch, though. A nigga have to snitch and be like, I'm getting paid off of pay, young thug's payroll to do that hit. He would have to catch me. You think me. a nigga won't snitch? I'm if saying he in the no. Heat? I'm saying no. I'm not saying niggas don't snitch, but <clears throat> that's my point. It's put it like this. It's it's way better than being like, yo, what up, nigga? You killed that nigga. Yeah, yet? it's <laughs> way better than calling Come a nigga on, in son. jail. Like nigga that's, calling that's people stupid. in jail. It's so that's stupid. a risk, nigga. That's the biggest risk. He probably thought he was talking in code on the oh, jail phone God. or some shit. Probably was like, nigga, you killed that bird with the stick. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I <laughs> mean? You did the <laughs> <laughs> nah, but the crazy thing, the niggas was even talking in code because they thought they were so secure with that cell phone. They was like, nigga, they don't know we got the nigga. That's the police was fuck. like, niggas was like writing this shit down. Yeah, what'd he say? Like, exactly. Everything. They probably got a dick packet. But like, I will say, I think they got they about to give thugs some time. But, Sometime, but Gunna Gunna probably gonna get away. I don't think it had nothing to do with the whole shit. They saying oh, they saying Gunna they saying Gunna gonna snitch again. <laughs> <laughs> he gonna do one of them commercials again. Yeah, he did one of them shit for Crime Stoppers. And Crime shit. Stoppers. <laughs> he did low key tell on son. I, I I'm a Gunna fan, but I seen I saw the, an interview where he like said some shit that that I was like, okay. He, he pointed the, he said the dude's name about his you know. But he was like his homie. They his homie was accused. It was and his cousin. His cousin was accused for the murder of that that girl, the fourteen year old girl. Mm -hmm. And in the crime stoppers, I don't know what it was. He says the person who didn't take the time for his cousin. His cousin's innocent, but he said the person in the video. He said who who it was. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And so that's, that's snitching. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> like, I don't know enough key. about it to comment on it, but, but I want. I, don't I remember. Want, I remember a little bit about it though. I'm not, I want not, YSL coming after me. I, I'll just look. Shit, I got them this niggas shit. all in prison right now. YouTube. They came and <laughs> locked up twenty six of them niggas, man, and they in the same jail that Gunna and Young Thug went to a few months ago to bail like twenty niggas out. Yeah, is Fulton it, is County it, is it Jail Fulton or County? something yeah. like that. It's where they lock everybody up, I think, over there. It's like one of the, I don't know, bro. But funny then, thing is, Young Thug just got, he just made a, like, before all this shit hit, he was like, he put out a statement. Like, he made a video and he was like, broke niggas shouldn't have kids. He was like, if you broke, you shouldn't be allowed to nut. <laughs> 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 that nigga's weak. But yeah, bro. And then after that, the whole situation, they raided the niggas' crib and found all that shit. Why you got all nigga, that in your crib? Right, that's stupid. Cause nigga, niggas, them YFN niggas was, was you know they on they on that nigga. We'll they move they nigga. All type of <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> if I now look niggas, what do you know where I'm? At? See, look, man, and I and I say this like, for example, like I'm not saying any allegations that Dirk's a part of any type of gang activity oh, organ, oh. but damn niggas. Them niggas, if they are in gangs, they're strategic with it. Because them niggas don't talk about that shit. Niggas' bodies used to be dropping. Internet do all their allegations, what they think. But they ain't got no shit to where it's like they can link. You know what I mean? Bro, I think it's a concerted effort to get all these gangsta-ass rappers the fuck yeah, out there's the a lot of them out of here. All these niggas who spitting all this shit, all these drill music niggas, they coming for all of them. You see how they was watching Thug? Since 2015, they watching all these niggas. Of course and they watching Dirk, but I'm saying you have to. Of course have, they watching. You gotta Dirk. have. You gotta have, and that's my point. Dirk, no, Dirk, no, he's being watched too. Like, but, but he's still walking around with a million dollars in the hood. Yeah, but but I'm talking about the cops not investigating you. But that's legit money. Cops not investigating you unless bodies is dropping and shit like that. The bodies but dropping all exactly, around that nigga. And, and that's my point. And that's my point that I'm trying to make about Dirk. Whatever he's doing. Like, we may think he's going to get, but, bro, he's been doing this shit, nigga, since that's how he came into rap, nigga, off the drill. But he his just music. got as hot as he is right now, though, after that, that Drake collab. 
The guy. What? What? Which, which song was that? Uh, um, fuck. Uh, um, laugh now, cry yeah. later. He ain't, but he ain't reached this level of he ain't reach he ain't reached this level of fame till right right now. You know what I'm saying? Of course, but I'm saying though, but that still didn't stop the cops for the amount of bodies that was getting dropped in Chirac and shit like that. They was still on it on them every single time he go. He wasn't allowed to do his show in, in in Chicago because of of the violence that comes around dirt. He just like I think last month did his first, first show. show in Chicago. Yeah, so they been on him, so he knows the cops are watching. <clears throat> if I was a rapper, I I wouldn't even want to do a show in Chicago. Even if I was from Chicago, I would think some shit gonna yeah, happen. Yeah, but you like, like Dirk and them do that shit subliminally, like through their. their but they young still thug is on the them. phone. Look, look, young thugs on the phone. Like yo, you like they literally said like he said some shit like. You, y'all didn't shoot at him yet. Like, he's legitly talking. He's not even coding that shit, bro. He's on the phone talking regular. Like, me calling you, like, Tommy, did you kill that nigga yet? Yeah. Dirk and them don't do that shit, nigga. Like, them niggas don't do that shit. Them yeah. niggas, you know, they don't talk on the internet. You know what I'm saying? That shit is... Yeah, we don't know I mean, yet. we don't know They can come out three years from now, and they fucking got a Rico case on Dirk, too. And all these niggas talking yeah, about that gang, if they gang got shit enough, in music. I think if they got enough evidence, as soon as they get enough evidence, just enough evidence, they gonna take you down. Cause at the end is at the end of the day, nah, that ain't how it work. That ain't how it work with them Rico charges. Cause I think they got they got something on Thug way back then, but they've been watching him ever since. You know, waiting on him to do more shit, so they could fucking when they finally came and got him, it would be no chance for him to get away. You know, yeah, because of the conviction rate. They got what? The- but yeah, but the chance that he does have is that it's I don't think it's a federal case. It's a state Rico case, which I never heard of before. I never heard of that either. But federal shit, if it was federal, he would have no chance in hell. But he still probably kind of have no chance. Is it state? I, I think, think it's state. No, all the shit I done seen, they saying it's state charges. But the feds got him. It's the a f- RICO charge, so you automatically think feds. But I'm, I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent sure. But but a lot of the shit I done seen, they they were saying it was state charges, not federal charges. I think it's I think it's feds, nigga. The feds. Oh no, we have to they look said it up the Because I seen the press conference and it's like <coughs> that's the feds, nigga. Okay. I think you the feds be. are the only ones that can. I th- I mean I think the feds are the only ones that can uh, do Get that. Rico charge. charge. Give Rico charges. That's I don't the feds. Know. We're gonna have to look but yeah, that up. we definitely got to look that up. I don't know. Uh, but I don't know, man. When you're in that position, you gotta be. You gotta stop self snitching, bro. Like whoever's the upcoming rapper, just this stop shit doing it. shit like that. When it's, you get in that position, like I know it's hard yeah. to leave the hood. And <laughs> I'm about to give you, you the can't speech. Take the hood out of nigga and all this shit, <clears throat> but you ain't gonna be able to take that. But it's like you said, you live by you live by that shit. You die by that shit. Some of these niggas and a lot of these street niggas, and that's what you said. A lot of these street niggas, the feds is trying to get out because some of the, a lot of these niggas is coming to the rap game is really about that about shit. that shit. I seen uh who posted it uh I, who's that funny nigga from um he made a song a song uh D- Devoe or what Lil Duval he made a statement on Twitter saying like a lot of he said a lot of rap niggas in his generations rapping that shit about that shit. But they wasn't doing it. Yeah. The niggas now, y'all rapping about and really living it. And he did a crying emoji. Cause after the whole young thug, you know, yeah, young yeah, thug, yeah. And it's like, oh, like, I don't know, man. I mean, that's I the thing know. in rap to keep it real and like do, but it's it's ultimately stupid because you rap, you doing the shit and you rapping about it and referencing referencing it the whole time. And you giving the f- all the information to the people that want to lock you the fuck up and they can use it against you. In court to paint you as a murderer because they can literally play a recording of you to the jury of you saying, I murdered this guy. I shot this guy and stuck my dick in his, <laughs> his, his, this mama, his mama ass and her mama cried at the funeral and yeah, you know, nigga. until some, some fucking white people in, in the jury, they're going to be like, Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. This tattooed, scary looking. And bro, motherfucker, and bro, it's gonna like, kill all our kids. We gotta lock him up. <laughs> look, look, look. And that's, that's a fact. Exactly. You have put him under the jail. How do you think? How do you think? Like, like really? Like when they indict these these rappers who are about that life and shit, right? And you got like the jury, and they like play their music like in court, and it's yeah. like really like what you said. I wonder what really goes through 
the jury's mind or like the white judge. What he's I just probably, said. He's probably like, oh my, yeah, Vax. He's probably like, oh my God. Oh like, my God. Burn God, him. Get him all. Lynch him. Yeah. Burn him. <laughs> especially Not like, burn. you know, especially the fact that a lot of. Depending you know, on where you go to court at, they can say it. You know, the that. judge ain't turning up to no meat meal. So, you know. But the thing is, I don't even think they play it. They they have a transcript with the words printed out and they like some dude slowly reads the words. You know what I'm saying? Young thug might say like, you know, I shot that nigga with the in in the blah, 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 and, they, and it'd be a white dude like, I shot that nigga nine and I, and times. I quote. <laughs> and I quote, you know what I'm saying? His mom had to cry at the funeral. You know, it like making it feel like way more dramatic as they read it and shit. Like, and it's like, damn, it don't even sound like that in the song. Hey, and it be, all the jury would be like, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> and he in there with the tattoos all on yeah. his face and shit. <laughs> Crazy and, hair. And, and, and they the, look at him. Diamond teeth. They look like, this man looks like a gremlin. <laughs> <laughs> Did they play Kodak Black? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Super gremlin. If you're doing, you doing all that, if you rapping about all that shit, you can't be actually doing it, man. Because you being watched the whole time. It's really stupid. You self, you snitching on yourself. I can't believe that nigga. I, I can't believe people that stupid, man. I don't know, man. It's crazy. Yo, but free that man, man, because I want to hear more of his music. Cause that nigga's lit, man. Like that's that sucks. So even if he murdered people, you want him free so you can so he can make more music for your enjoyment. <laughs> I mean, I mean, like I know. <laughs> listen, no, I say this. <laughs> I say this. Like whatever his choices he made. You know what I'm saying? He had to make them choices because whatever he had to make choices for. Like, you know what I'm saying? Free that man. You know what I mean? Mm, yeah. That's another I trope know. of like black people. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I mean. Black people be like, free him. Even nah, if he fucking I know, murdered I, five people or something. Because niggas know what that shit, like, bro, like, I know where that shit, where that shit comes from. Like, if you in that lifestyle, like, that's how that shit get yeah, crazy I know, facts. I know, I know. And so it's kind of like free that man. <laughs> you know what I'm I know. I know. I understand. But it's still like, wow, that niggas always be like, free that nigga. Free my nigga so-and-so. And this nigga done fucking shot up a whole hospital or some shit. I don't know, bro. Like, for example, like, I don't know. Like, I don't personally know, like, Bobby Schmurder or nothing like that. But, yeah. like, like, nigga, like. Everybody applauds like him and Rowdy because them niggas. Stuck. They applaud him because they didn't. They didn't like rat each other yeah. out. Yeah, and I feel like if you do something at any level, you know what I'm saying, and, and people, and, you know what I mean, they do that crime and whatever. Y'all stick through it. Nobody tell like whatever. Like, granted, I understand somebody might have got murdered or something, <laughs> but you know, but fuck them though. <laughs> that's what that's what I would like when uh Tay K, you know Tay K is a nigga with the race and shit. Yeah. When niggas was screaming free this nigga and he was literally like in the songs and like, yeah, I went on the run after I murdered these people. And everybody was like, Yeah, fuck Tay K. <laughs> I like the song about about how he murdered people. So that's a good song. he should be that's- on the street. He shouldn't be locked up. Even though he's a murderer and he spelled out the whole shit. Nah, when I read the free police, that man so we can turn up with him at his concert. Nah, know? when I read the police report on that, that's the only one I felt a little like the song hard. But I once like I song. like once I like read into it, I was kind of like, nah, he kind of just like murdered some innocent people. Like this nigga is a real savage. Yeah, he's really a savage. Like, I was the same way when I read into his story and I heard the song. I was like, song cool, but this nigga he needs to stay locked up. Yeah, though. yeah. Now, like, if it, it's different when it's like you know. Niggas is, you know, it's two sides. Niggas, is, you know, they doing what they do, and yeah. But know. people like people like that that type of music in rap. Like women, like what type of music you like? You like trap? You like that drill shit? You like that hardcore rap shit? I mean, I popping to all this shit. Really? Who's your artist? Who's your favorite rap artist right now? Top five. Your top five. My top five. I love Young Boy. Oh, oh my no. god, you gotta get out. Get get god. the fuck no, I'm just playing. Don't disrespect my husband. Oh man, she Let's said not. the husband. Oh, she, she's this. really a fan. She Let's one of them people that be this. in the comments like why be better and oh all that my shit. I don't comment. Okay. Oh, anyway, she don't comment. I don't comment. So why okay. wait? Why do you like that nigga? Like that nigga Don't question. Name me a either. song. Name that a, nigga oh, is. Name your favorite songs song. Are good. 
I don't even it's understand cool. what the fuck he be talking about, man. He, he be like, be Whoa, you don't man. want to understand it. That could that could be true too. Anyway, it's young boy. Okay, young and boy then, number one. That's number one. That's, that's number she one. Said. That's a husband. That's yeah. number one. That's crazy. Okay, keep I going. I like I really like Gunna, and then I like Tusi. Tusi. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I, I know. know. I'm, I'm not familiar with Tusi. It's not like mm, just be. He's an underground rapper. He's not an underground rapper, but what is he? He's not. Man, I don't know. Go he listen sound to clown, him. Like, you mean like yeah. Tusi Wow? No. He like recently came out? He a friend? Like, <laughs> like a couple who? of years ago. I okay. Know. Okay, who people who? know him though. Usually people know him. Okay. Like on, on TikTok and shit. No. In general. How, well he <laughs> he he, he on that name a song. He on that gangster shit too? Not really. He sing? No, he rap, but he not on some oh I killed this and this person, da 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 da. Okay. Okay, who number four? Who number four? Fuck Tusi. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm just playing. It's not even two, three, four right now. I'm just naming people I fuck with right now. I don't really do no favorites. Okay, Young Boy's my favorite, but other than that, I don't really do you know favorites. All right, so okay. who's the last? You like Drake? I like Drake. But he's in your top five because you only said four. Mm, I don't know. I like his old songs better than his new songs. You didn't like, like that last. Like, you didn't like CLB. The last was, album he was, came out with. A, it was okay. Mm. I like Money Bag too. Money Bag, yo. Money yeah. Bag, yo, it's nice. Like money bag. Who's your top five? Uh, I don't have a top five. See who you listen to the most right now, <laughs> rapper wise. I've been listening to that Kendrick a little bit. You know, I Kendrick heard album yet. just came out. <clears throat> But it's some shit you really got to, like, sit with, you know? Like, it ain't some shit you can just casually listen to. He's, like, some really talking on that shit. He really, really talking on that shit. Yeah. People already calling it. it a classic. You seen the video? Mm-mm. You seen the I video? I seen it's, like, Kanye's face for a couple seconds. It's like a video. It's, like, one take. He, like, rapping the whole time. And then his, his depending on what he's talking about, um, his face changed to, like, O.J. Simpson then it changed to Jesse Smollett. Then it changed to Kobe. And then Nipsey at the end. He like uh, talking through Nipsey. He talking through all the people that oh, he his dope. face. Yeah, he's creative. And man. they do it so seamlessly, like that face swap shit. It's it's crazy. Uh yeah, I gotta get into that. But yeah, man, like Kendrick is good. You know what I'm saying? And he 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 the only rapper that can take what he took like three years off or something. And then then you didn't hear not a peep from him. He came back. Came back with the album and got the number one just like that. He's nice. Do you like Kendrick? Or he t- he be talking too much? I mean, yeah, but I really listen to him too much. I like mm-hmm. a couple songs, but it's not like I'm like, oh, my God, I got to listen to Kendrick. You know? yeah, yeah, but it, I think it's because of that break. Because I, I remember a time when a lot of people, like when Kendrick was out for real, he, he a lot of people was listening to, to him. You know what I mean? I think it's that little break that made him. Kind of like, well, why am I gonna go listen to Kendrick right now? But I heard, I mean, he got his songs, but in general, like Kendrick is a rapper. Like I said, you that you don't really like, you're not gonna put him on, just just passively listen to like a Future or yeah. a Young Boy or some shit. Mm-hmm. Not, I wouldn't put on Young Boy ever. You crazy? <laughs> <laughs> but somebody like in her generation, you know, they like Young Boy and that type of music. But Kendrick, you really have to like sit down and listen to what the fuck he's saying. Cause he rapping all fast, but he's saying like real, like thoughtful shit at the same time. Like it's not like riding music or something. Unless you like, which by yourself on a long drive and you can really pay attention to what the fuck you're talking about. Like J Cole or some shit. It's boring. Yeah. I feel you. To the casual listener. You know what I'm saying? But if you really in the rap and the, like the, mechanics of rap and the artistic side of rap then Kendrick's your guy but if you just want to turn up or make a TikTok video or some shit yeah. you know Future or Young Boy might be your that was your, your steez. I was yeah I was I don't saying make no TikTok see Young Boy <laughs> what do you make TikToks to how do you approach making TikToks like you just see trends and you like Mm. redo them or I see something I like and then you know 
I get a vision and I do it. <laughs> <laughs> just on the spot? Most of the time, yeah. Just I save it and then I have like this folder with like videos I want to redo or like similar videos I want to do. Okay. And then you know, I'll just go through that and then. Do you have like a particular <coughs> topic? Like a. No. It's okay. just whatever I want to do at the yeah, moment. Yeah, because I, I mean, I got, I do it, I do it too. Like I just be thinking about shit. I, I used just, to do like a lot of like hauls and shit. Mm hmm. I gotta get back into that because everybody be asking me for it, but I'm being lazy. Halls? What's that? Like new clothes and shit, like outfits. Oh, like you like be like promoting what doing. outfits yeah. and stuff like that. Okay. And you like you like TikTok more than Instagram and like Snapchat and all that shit. Mm, I used to hate TikTok. Me too. Until, Until like recently, last year, yeah. yeah. And then I don't know. Right now, I'll be mainly on TikTok. I don't mm. really be on Snapchat anymore. I, l- I used to love Snapchat. but I fell off Snapchat a long new, time ago. New, I don't no, have it. No, the new update they have, it's blowing me. I literally don't even want to use the app anymore. It's too much shit going on. I, I and like, yeah. I'm like you. I haven't used, I don't have a Snapchat no more. I'll re-download it and give it another try every now and then. But I, f- I get on there and I see the format is all like everywhere and shit. Yeah. And I'll be like, I don't like this shit. Sometimes I get on there. Like recently they came out with this uh, crying yeah, filter I- and shit <laughs> on Snapchat. And I re-downloaded it just to see what I look like. Yeah, yeah. With the motherfucking crying shit on my face and they shit. They have it on TikTok now. Really? I'm, okay. Yeah. I mean, that's that's what it was like kind of known for in the beginning too with the filters. They yeah. were the first ones Yeah, they were the first it. one with the You know, and then Instagram, you know. Not every app got there. filters now. Yeah. yeah. I'm on TikTok. Like, personally, yeah, on I'm my on page. I'm mainly on TikTok now. I still use Snapchat. I do, but it's just, I don't know. I just don't really fuck with it. Nah, I don't use Snapchat at all. I'm on Instagram and TikTok and Instagram? Facebook for my family and shit. No. Pretty much. I do not. You, you straight off like Facebook, the, right? Yes. I, I feel like her generation completely abandoned Facebook. I used to love Facebook, but like, I don't know. What do you want to do with Facebook? I'm on like, Facebook. There's nothing to do. Like me personally, I still got my Facebook, but I'm I'm not really on my Facebook either. I'm on my Facebook only to like post like certain things that are really going on or something, yeah. you know, because a lot of people that I have on Facebook are just family members to keep in touch with. Mm-hmm. But like another thing with Snapchat, I want to get on the, like, I feel like I <laughs> fell off of Snapchat cause like just the way with it, with how, how people approach it, you know, once I've been in a relationship and married and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? I feel yeah. like Snapchat was like, Snapchat's for the ratchets. Yeah, a lot of people just be <laughs> adding, like, you know, it's, you can randomly ask somebody like now on my, like on my, personal page like you know my instagram like i have my shit to where it's private like you can't just add me you know yeah I mean? yeah yeah. you gotta like you gotta be approved you gotta be approved and shit like that like snapchat was just like i was getting messages and shit from people i'm like yo who the you fuck can is turn this? that off though oh, yeah, i didn't, oh, I didn't know see that, that's how long i've been off, off snapchat I, I didn't even shit they probably that's did. what i used to like about snapchat when i was single like you can like like how they got the messaging set up? Like motherfuckers can't just screenshot you without <laughs> knowing this shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, nah, from a motherfucker screen you, that. even when you even when you screenshot a motherfucker on there, like they emoji pop up. Like, hey, <laughs> motherfucker, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. you screenshot my shit. I'm about to tell. I'm about to tell. I, I like that shit about Snapchat and like when you like like your message disappear unless somebody yeah, save that's what it I'm saying. and when that's they save what, it you know and that's what makes it like for the whole yeah that's what makes it for the ratchets for the ratchets that's why I don't have it me? no more I don't have that shit no more <laughs> I'm not ratchet and I use it I feel offended <laughs> <laughs> sorry but you, are you single though yeah okay you single you ain't ratchet though but it's for single people yeah yeah facts but TikTok definitely I'm on that I just Heavy. love the algorithm on TikTok, man. They really, when, when you get something good, they really push that shit. Yeah, and it's just like, it just makes sense, bro. Like, you can just go on there if you don't like, you know, you can go on there for like two seconds, look yeah. at a couple videos, follow real quick. It, everything's just right there, you know what I mean? Yeah, I like the format and the algorithm is cool on there. Because like it's a lot a, of these other social media shits, they'll be, they'll like, they'll like block the amount of people that can see your shit. Exactly. And give you the option to pay for more people to see your shit. You know oh, yeah, what I'm saying? I hate that. That's what happened to Facebook because they started making only a certain percentage of people being able to see your posts unless you boost the posts or sponsor the posts yeah. or some bullshit. It's because so many people are getting famous. Was, you know, it's, I think TikTok will eventually become like that too. 
once there's so many people because i heard there's influencers that are leaving instagram and you even youtube to go to tiktok because they're making more money on tiktok you know what i mean so because the algor algorithm is so new it's you know, it's fresh. It's it's like how Instagram was when it first came out. I remember I was seeing all the people on Instagram, Vine, all that shit. Right. I'd be like, what the fuck are they doing? Like, I would always see, like, King, what's his name? King, King ba Batch. King Batch, all them. They was or making King Vines. Bach, whatever. And I used to just, I had Vine, and I was like, man, this shit kind of whack. Like, this shit stupid. Yeah, I went with but the Vine. All, the, all those people are all fucking famous now. Logan Paul, all them motherfuckers. They was all, like. Making them little six second exactly. skits and shit. And then they took that, they took Vine and they transitioned Vine into Instagram. Instagram and then Snapchat came out. Everybody was on that shit. I mean, there was I think there's people that make that was making money like off Snapchat and shit like that too. Like you can do I like don't know. Yeah, there was ways yeah, to do chicks that with them private Snapchats. Well, yeah. Come see come see a clap that ass. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> on Snapchat. That was like the, yeah, that was like the start of like o like OnlyFans. Yeah, you know? that was before OnlyFans yeah. nigga bitches had the private Snapchat. Right. So that I think Come join my private Snapchat. <laughs> exactly. Watch me clap that ass. <laughs> <laughs> so I think TikTok TikTok will eventually like if you're new onto TikTok, like you should really hop on that shit because that's the shit that's, that's But TikTok been yeah, around a yeah, long yeah, time ayo, too though. Ayo, ayo, ayo. Right. I said you should really hop on that shit. <laughs> pause. Pause. <laughs> Big pause. Ayo, yeah, I skated floor. right past that shit. But uh yeah. But TikTok been around a long time too though. It's just at first it was called musically or some shit yeah. like that. And then they changed the name to TikTok like a little bit after that. And now but people been blowing up on TikTok. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just now getting into this shit. And I didn't know a podcast would work so well on a TikTok. I didn't know the engagement was so crazy. <clears throat> yeah, it's so easy, too, to make a video. Like, bro, sometimes I be walking. I mean, you see my shit. Like, I just be walking down the street, and I'm just like, I'm about to make a TikTok. Nigga, right. fuck it. You know, as I'm walking, I just make it real quick. I just say some dumb shit all day or how I'm feeling. Then, nigga, like, I could post it. It's like it's like posting a little story on Instagram. Yeah, you do that on sure. Instagram regardless. So. I feel like women got it easier on, like, TikTok and Instagram. Just on social media in general. Because all you got to do is look good. You can do that, whatever for the mm, fuck you ever you want that's on there. That's guys, too, though. You nah. know how many guys I see on my For You page on TikTok? They literally don't do anything. They just stand there. And all them girls, oh, my God, put a baby in me. I'm like, damn. Really? What? Yes. I've never seen that shit. Maybe I'm not one of them. Maybe I don't. I'm not one of them. Not more than class. women. I know what she's talking about. Not I know what more you than mean. Women, like, though. the more body, no, the more the bodybuilder ass like niggas. But never to the extent of a mediocre looking chick. She show If she pose her ass... At the certain angle, you know the angle I mean, where yeah, they got like yeah, one yeah. foot in front of the other <laughs> foot, and they like turn they they hip, and the that's ass the be way. like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? They do that. Hundred thousand views on TikTok. <laughs> yeah, that's a fact. And there's not a lot of niggas out there that's going out and being bodybuilders. Like a shit. nigga can't just pose at a certain angle, yeah, with like his ass. this. <laughs> exactly. All you gotta do is have some ass for so social media. Definitely more women. Social it's, media is is ran around ass. If it wasn't no ass on social media, it wouldn't be as popular. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you ever that's, thought about that? That's a fact. Like something you literally poop out of runs social media. You ever thought about that? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I never thought about it. Like you watch too many podcasts, nigga. <laughs> you just blew me with nah, that. But, you know, that's a fact. That's a fact, though. You know? All these chicks out here promoting these tummy tees that make you shit. And, like, showing their ass Bro, in never the pictures. <laughs> I'll be on the, I don't know. I ain't seen that on the internet. You got to send me that. Nigga, you can't scroll the internet without seeing a chick poking her ass out. But that's a fact. And it's definitely can you? easier. I can. You can scroll your feed. On my TikTok, yes. Scroll your feed now. Scroll your feet out. One, one of the top look, look. three videos is going to no, be a no, chick say, on there. I say, look, look. Doing the challenge where she jump and turn her ass look, and be look, like, I say 10. Small waist, pretty face with a look, 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 look. <laughs> Listen, I say after 10, I say after, 10? no, 15 oh, scroll no, ups. 15? 15 scroll ups. Okay. I say that's, five. Okay, that's one. One. Two. Oh, there goes some titties, though. <laughs> look, look. <laughs> exactly. Look, look. Four, Wait. Five. Oh, okay. Five. Who the fuck is this, nigga? Okay, see. Oh, that's Russ. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I wait. know that trend. Ain't no wait. What the fuck is this? Nah, she. Is that Doja Cat? 
I bet at the end she gonna show her ass. Oh wait a minute, wait, it's some white girl booty coming up. Okay. Hold on, what how many? On? What number we on? That's like six. Six. It's like, nah, it's like ten. No, nah. it's like six. Oh, shit, it's at least is, seven. It's seven. Yeah, seven. It's eight. It's eight. It's eight. Okay, two more. Nine. Ten. No, I said fifteen. Yeah, he keep said going. fifteen. Keep going. Eleven. Boom, ass. Uh huh. Ass. Look, ass look, on look. the ass side. Ass. And hold on, hold on. Let's do the math. Oh, the the <laughs> squat <laughs> ass. Look, look, look. Hold oh, on, Tommy. What got, oh, the escalator Tommy, ass. Tommy, Tommy, hold on. Now you gotta calculate how fast you scroll through the shit. You gotta do the math. You go like this. <laughs> yeah. So if you're on there about a minute, you see like thirty five asses. <laughs> <laughs> gotta do the math because the 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 internet is run by booties. <laughs> Women's asses at different angles. Yeah, that's a fact. I can't scroll my feed without seeing some some butt. You know, and most if all you see is ass on your for you pitch on TikTok. That's all you like. No, 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 no. Like, Don't go there. You like be on your for I don't you like pitch. nothing on TikTok though. Mm, okay. Okay, I like a few things. Exactly. But. <sighs> Okay, the algorithm do <laughs> feed you what you like, but how the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> but I like other things too on on TikTok. You know, I like seeing them little them little um them little bush niggas build shit uh in the in the sand. You know, in the forest. You know, them niggas be cutting down all them, them trees two, and them bamboos. Two them two guys and they be like all sped up. And they be digging. They be making shit out of oh, clay yeah, and bamboo yeah. and shit. I like. I be my liking shit, that shit. My shit anime. All the time. I like anime on TikTok. Because I've been seeing the anime, the real voices of the people. That's always popping up on my feed. Y'all like a lot of but, different shit. But if I like one MBT, ass, <laughs> that's the majority of my feed. <laughs> Can they be like, oh shit, this nigga like one butt? <laughs> imagine if I show him five Yeah, butts. imagine if I show him 15 butts at different angles. <laughs> <laughs> and, and they got it. They, look, they got a fucking documentary on that too. Really? How, how to, yes, they have a documentary on how... The algorithm works oh, and it okay. does do that. It really probably does that. I mean, it's on everything. Like if you're on YouTube and you know, you like cats and you search cat videos all day, then that's all YouTube gonna show you is fucking cat shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What you search is what they gonna feed you. Right. If you go in there looking up black holes, you can get a whole bunch of space flat earth videos and shit like that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But again, <clears throat> Back to what we were saying. Yeah, it's what, what definitely we about? easier for females on social media. Yeah, they it's do easier. You have ass. to admit that. Mm, if you're an attractive woman, yeah, how there's more. It's it's more. Listen, you said that girls like the guys that you know that you have know the six how pack many and shit guys like that. I know on TikTok, they literally don't do anything but post bullshit all fucking day long, and they are blowing up millions of. But dudes. do they post like like what like shirtless stuff Not or necessarily no. What are they, girls they just saying look good. Like they just look good. They just But pray. they will never have the appeal that nah, attractive nah. woman exactly. with an ass or some titties will exactly. have. Exactly. <clears throat> never. Women women a woman's power, not saying women don't have power in other avenues, but one of the like we talk about black and white and this and that, but like the the most privileged people in the world are beautiful people. And at the top of that is beautiful women. Like if a woman looks good enough, a man will do anything for her, especially on the internet. That's your <clears throat> own fault. That's y'all decision. But okay, but whether it's a decision or not, it's a fact. So yeah, it's a fact. It, it's a fact. And that's that. why it's, it's fact easier for women. That's why OnlyFans exists because there's a whole bunch of simp ass why. niggas out there. Who gonna pay for that it subscription? Wasn't, hold on, hold on. It wasn't just us. You just said it's only the men, but it's, it's also the women. Because if that wasn't the case, there wouldn't be women watching social media and thinking that being skinny and all these these ways to look, the normal, you know, the normalized way to look as a woman, a beautiful woman, they wouldn't have all these surgeries and all these other things. So it's not just us that put into that. It's the women too. Just saying, you know, keep it, a, keep it a buck. You know, <laughs> whatever. What put into what though? I'm. What you mean? Like what would you referencing when you said the last thing? Because she she said it she said it's us men that make it make it like this for like because what, that's make what it easy for a woman we make it easy for women but mm. I don't I just think that's how it is you know like women yeah. have always there's always been like a power of a woman to like be able to seduce men with with 
their beauty and shit, you know, because men are attracted to beautiful women. And like that, I think that's what drives a lot of men to be successful is being able to take their pick of whatever, like, beautiful woman they would like to be with and shit like that, you know. And that's where gold diggers come into play and shit like that, like women who will only date a rich man and shit like that. And with that being said, do you have a preference of a man and how much he earns? Like, do you do you prefer a man who got money or you don't give a shit? You don't care about that. Um, and keep it a stack. I gotta always say it. <laughs> keep it a stack. I'm saying that I would do that anyway. Keep it one hundred. <laughs> I mean, I don't really care about how much money a man has as long as you're trying to get somewhere in life. If okay. you're a fucking bum and you laying on the couch all fucking day long, I don't want him. I don't like. I don't want you. Mm-hmm. But if you don't have no money, but you're trying to make some money, you're trying to get somewhere in life and build a future. I respect that. But you so ain't you'll be take a millionaire a, for me to talk to you. So you'll take a fixer upper, a guy who just. In the beginning stages and trying to figure it out, as long as he, as long as he pushing to make something happen, you'll you'll be the ride or die and like ride yeah. it out with him. That's honorable. Yeah, I respect that. that. I respect that. I feel that. like I'm still at the age where I can do that. You know, now yeah. if I'm forty and you, you know, yeah, if you're forty, you ain't you ain't fucking around with no no nigga right. who ain't got his shit together. Right. But you're twenty one, so exactly. yeah, that's true. That's Dude, cool still still got a little a little little leeway <laughs> with you i guess mm. but you wouldn't you wouldn't like turn a, a millionaire dude down if he came to holler would you i mean hell nah okay answer. no 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 but if you <coughs> got hella money and you a piece of shit i still don't want you okay okay what's the piece of shit though oh no i want a man to respect me if you can respect me just because you got money then get your ass on somewhere so I you're not gonna that. be like, but I want that Birkin bag. No. So you feel I'll like get it myself. You feel yeah. like if a dude got got too much money, he more likely to be disrespectful to not you. Not necessarily. I'm just saying, if if you have money and you're respectful and you a good guy, you know that's that's good. That's good for you. But if you have money and then you have to act some certain type of way just because you got money, then okay. So no. let me so let me ask you this: If you're dating, if you're dating or I want to say dating, but if you're talking to a guy, if you're talking to a guy who has a little bit of money, um, he's doing all these things that you, you that you say, you um, he's respectful and all that. Then you have a guy who is a millionaire and has these same traits. Which one are you picking? Of course, you pick. Oh, no, I'm not gonna say. <laughs> who are you picking? If it's not about the money, who are you gonna pick? Mm-hmm. Are you gonna pick the one who treats you better than the one that has? Like, At the end of the day, I care more about how you treating me than how much money you have. So you would stay with the guy who's not making. Uh, so Drake hit you up, right? <laughs> I do. <knew he> <laughs> <gonna get it. laughs> so you with a guy, you know everything cool. You know y'all living a modest life. You know y'all got a Honda. Y'all got somewhere to stay. <laughs> <laughs> y'all got somewhere to stay. All the bills paid for. Y'all living comfortable with nothing extravagant or expensive. And then go the, on a vacation here and there. Yeah, you go to fucking you in Texas. So See, y'all, this is not the life I'm gonna live though. I'm gonna no, live. but we're just saying. No, no we're I'm just, just saying, saying hypothetically speaking. Right. And then your boy Drizzy Drake sliding <laughs> them DMs, and he say, "I'm here for you, ma. What you doing?" You taking that? And trip. you've heard, hold on. And you've heard that Drake is a pretty good guy. He treats women well, all that. And he's just gonna slide into my DMs. And you're like also that. with the bullshit. A, that's not gonna happen. It, it just happened no, the other day. Yeah, it just happened the other day. We was talking about it with with your homegirl. No, he did that because uh, out, of, out of spite. Yes. But it still happened though. But it still happened. So what you doing in but that situation? Just... And then he DM'd you. I'm here for you, ma. So out of spite, you could get a whole trip. You could get flued out, as they say, with Drake. Would you take so the opportunity? A week with Drake. Nah, we talking about like twenty four hours. I wouldn't think he'd spend the See, whole week. No, 
Okay, so it's so a I'm difference. Gonna leave, so I'm if you get to spend a, my happy relationship for twenty four hours with Drake, yeah, with Drake, make no sense. He fly you to yeah, fucking, but but it can potentially lead. He into fly a, you to the beach with the pigs. You can pet the pigs on the beach. Man. Yo, look, look, but, you, <laughs> but this is this is speaking in the aspect of potentially him like you being in a relationship with him. I'm saying you actually being oh, yeah, in a relationship. Drake is gonna get to I'm just get saying. Well, was, oh, he's after taking it. Just, no, 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 no. Look, I just left my man for no, look, something. Hypothetically, person. we're saying hypothetically. We're not saying, you know what I mean. So, okay, you say you, you wouldn't do it for 24 hours, but what about a week though? Hell no, nah. I'm gonna leave my happy relationship for a week with Drake. No. And he would do some of the. You would get to do everything in your wildest dreams. He buy you the Birkin bag. Fuck that bag. What's the I'll what's get the it what's, what's no nah, first, okay, first I got okay I like I like <laughs> what okay. she she bullshitting but I like what she <laughs> talking <not> about. <laughs> so like, what's the top thing you want to do in life? Like the top thing, the top thing. Just one one thing you want to do. I doubt she know that at twenty one. Yeah, years I'm just old. saying. Like, if you had your dream, a, a dream. Like a goal. Financially independent. Like I can do whatever the fuck I want to do because I have that. What if he starts a business for you? I know. What if he do it like he said like he like he said in the song. Like he said it on the CLB, I can't remember the song. It's it's a whole song dedicated to like helping a woman out with her business and shit. So he like he he hits you up, he like, I see you trying to do your cosmetology and your I don't know what you do, but I'm just speaking in general. You trying to do your nails and I, I buy you a nail business, you know. So just for that, I got to leave my man. You can start a whole new life. Like Aladdin, a whole new world. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> your man could could have just been the stepping stone in your life to like, maybe that was supposed to happen. Your man was supposed to, in that situation, he was supposed to hit up Drake. But that's a once in a, who, whoever would think that Drake would reply to a fucking comment like oh that. God. And hit you up. Some chicks might look at that like a sign of God. Like, would you damn. send? Would you? Would you like post something on Instagram saying like, "Oh, hi, hey Drake with the googly eyes"? If you was in a relationship with your man, that was the wildest part for me. Would you do that? No. If you're happy in your relationship, or would you be I like, might, if like, because this whole situation was public anyway, I'll probably post it. Be like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, that'd be like on some funny shit, you know. But she was straight up hollering, hollering like, back at him. I wouldn't do that. But it was that's a, disrespectful towards your man. Like this is public, you super know? disrespectful. But yeah. it was a lot of people in the comments saying that they got a bag off the whole situation, and they think that they like orchestrated the whole shit. Like he told her to to post it, how she posted it, and they supposedly they started selling merch, like T-shirts I mean, no, no, behind wrong with the that. shit. Ain't nothing wrong with that. So they thinking they in the comments on TikTok they was like they fucking orchestrated the whole shit and they set it up after Drake wrote her to where they was gonna get a bag and they was supposed to do a whole bunch of podcasts and get paid for him and sell t shirts and hats with phrases that Drake said and shit like that. And supposedly oh, we're saying made, that Drake is a part of it. No, oh, no, just they him? just capitalized and supposedly they made like a hundred grand off the situation. Who which right. I do not believe. I don't believe that shit. But I'm though. saying even if they did, who, uh, yeah, I would too. Shit. If that just shows that the relationship was real, <coughs> like, they, she, right. you know, because. I think it's some bullshit, though. That oh, would be yeah. the ideal situation. Like, yeah, we just finessed Drake, blah, blah, blah. But he could have just, it could have been real. And the dude could have been like, we need to make this shit look like we finessed this nigga. So from now on, this is how it's going to go. Uh, yeah. We're going to make some t-shirts, bitch. Yeah. I'm going to leave your bitch ass for how you posted Drake. Yeah, we finna make some money off this shit. She clearly like Drake's, and she would have loved. <clears throat> I think what majority of chicks would take that chance. I think the soccer mom living in suburban, this in the suburban area of fucking Sacramento, <laughs> would be like, "Oh my God, Drake just slid into my jeans," <laughs> and be like, "I'm going." Hell yeah, <laughs> she'd be like, "I'm out, Billy." <laughs> And go holla at Drake. Because it's just it's just levels to life, you know. And Drake is on a level that a lot of people don't ever reach, you know. And women yeah. women like power and money and status. Not all women. Not though. all women, but they'll think about it. Like you would if Rihanna or somebody nah. slid into yours. Me, you talk about me personally, hypothetically speaking. Oh, hypo nah, but we could talk. We could talk <coughs> about it for real if it really happened. Okay, I, I'm dead ass. Like if what Drake 
the whole situation with Drake, I would keep it, I would do that. I would keep it a stack. I'd be like, I'll try to see what the bag is looking like off of it. I'll try to get the bag. Yeah. Cause I I wouldn't know, play around with it. I'll get the bag, nigga. Fuck that. <laughs> nigga. I'm taking opportunity. If they if he had the time to take the opportunity to call my name out, little old me. <laughs> little old me. I would take that fuck opportunity. Yeah. Facts. Cause I also feel like I didn't get in a relationship with somebody that would make that decision if it was with them. So we would definitely plot. That's how I feel at least. Okay. We would plot against that shit. I feel like you're playing with fire. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I'd be like, babe, go on that date, bring back a couple watches. <laughs> and she'd be like, I bet. But you feel like your your girl would be the same way? I, if a if a if a I don't know, if, fucking Jill Scott hits you up or some shit. I was <laughs> <laughs> I think so. I think I think she's I think when it comes to V, she's pretty confident. Like she knows, like I she knows me. I'll try to get that back. Yeah. My girl would be like, hell nah. Block her, delete her. You better not speak their name again type shit, I believe. She don't play around with that type shit. I, of course, I would insure her. Like, nah, it's all good. Ain't we no have insuring. <laughs> Ain't no insuring shit, you know nah, what I'm I would saying? just insure her. I'd be like, yo, I know Rihanna hit my DMs, but we about to get the bag. <laughs> She <laughs> gotta get the money. She gonna, like, be, that's gonna make sure that's gonna come knows. up in every argument from then on. Oh, you think you think you the shit? Cause Rihanna <laughs> hit you up, huh? Bitch, <laughs> I am. Yeah. Every time y'all get into some shit, you don't uh, think. But hold on, well, if, you trying you trying to woman, write Rihanna back now? Hold on, if you hold on, if your wife, if that happened to you, to you and your wife knew you wasn't gonna leave her, you don't think she could also use that as ammo as a confident? Like, damn, like Rihanna. Hit my man up. Like, I have a very attractive husband. She that don't think she can the, use that in a positive way? Again, that would be the ideal situation. Knowing that you want to leave, leave her. that you Again, want her. that would be the ideal situation. But I feel like in most cases, that's going to make her more insecure. Because she's going to be like, oh, shit. Bitches like Rihanna trying to get my dude. Like. That's true, though. I ain't no Rihanna. Like, damn, chicks on that caliber trying to. You don't think, but you don't think like I'm just asking. I'm just saying, like women are women are more insecure than we are. I mean, I get the insecurity. I I, is that a fair statement to make? But I think that not women necessarily guys just hide it better. To be honest, I think okay, that yeah, could that's be true. true. That could that's be a true. good. I was, that's a good one. I think like I don't know, bro. I think if you ensure it, like if the fact that you didn't leave your wife for Rihanna, I still feel like. But when does that become a fact, feel, though? When did that become a fact? Because so it could would? it could always be a possibility in their heads after that situation. You know what I'm saying? It never becomes an absolute. After after somebody like Rihanna hits you up, they could be feeling like every day, like, man, did this nigga write Rihanna back today? <laughs> Is he considering it? Yeah, of course, there could be an insecurity, <clears throat> but I guess that's all part of a relationship. You always got to make sure the other yeah. person's secure and stuff like that. I think in that situation, there is no securing another person's feelings. You know what I'm saying? It's like, <laughs> <laughs> you, got, you either got to dead that shit from the beginning, be like, I would never, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't even attracted to Rihanna. Her forehead too big or some shit. <laughs> you got to completely trash Rihanna from the jump. I ain't going to lie. Look, look, I ain't going to lie. You know, and I'm, I'm, I would say I'm insecure when it comes to shit like that. I'm like, that's what I was saying. Like, like, like I wouldn't nigga, even take Drake, the chance. If Drake would have like, delete your Instagram. Yeah, if, if Drake, <laughs> if, yeah, if, if, if Drake, get the fuck off social media. Nigga, if Drake hit my girl up, I'll be sick. I'll be like, exactly. Nigga, how can I get to this nigga? I'm about to. Nigga, I'm about know. to be hiding outside with that black paint. Yeah. And, it, and that nigga bushes rolling around and shit. <laughs> I'll be tight. Nigga got to die. Yeah. That's crazy. And then, and then he DMs her. You would have, oh man, I don't know, bro. It's the things he said, man. Like, tight. your wife look, look bored. She needs some excitement in her life. I would, yeah. That was a good line, though. That was a yeah. good line. It probably, it probably put the fear of God in that man. He probably read that shit like, oh my God. He's <laughs> like, baby, don't leave me. He probably started sweating immediately, like, oh. Drake just. She 
like, nah, I'm the shit now. <laughs> nigga, look, look, look. Nigga, niggas probably, that, niggas probably be crying like, damn, baby, don't leave me, baby. Exactly. I, I know it's straight. <laughs> but don't do it. <laughs> Imagine them both sleeping in the same bed that night. She can't sleep because she's thinking about it. <laughs> This is good Tommy is Drake sick. just really hit me up. <laughs> he on the side sneak like this. <laughs> and she's on the bed confident like this and shit. Uh, yeah, fantasizing. Like, what if I leave this nigga? What did, what did she put on? A, she put on a Drake song in that, that night. Wow. This nigga wake up to Drake playing. Yeah, facts. That's how I'll be. I'll be like, delete your Instagram and go and fucking stream or Spotify. Delete every fucking delete Drake song. Delete every Drake song. That's crazy. Drake is not allowed nowhere in our life no more. <laughs> Damn, son. Now, that's, a, that's crazy. That's crazy. I don't want to hear shit about October or nothing, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't see no owls, no nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Ain't no OVO. Oh shit, that's weak. Nah, but nah, but that's that's. Man, I'm crying over here. I man. can't even like listen, man. I can't even lie and say that, you know. And then you know, I had I had asked I had asked my wife. I was like, yeah, what well, happened? And she was like, come on, baby, you know I choose you. I'd be like. Yeah, look. That's what she gotta tell you. That nigga, you yeah, shouldn't yeah, even yeah. ask. I be like, is he just saying that shit? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't even asked my girl that question. Goddamn, we were talking about it. I mean, she told me the same shit, but I was like, all right, that's what you gotta say. <laughs> <laughs> shit, shit, nigga, nigga, I be look, man. We be wa- nigga, we be watching a movie and shit. God, shit, I get tight. Girl, even say something about. How a person might look at track. I'll be like, why are you looking at that nigga? Oh, I'll be the same way. I'll be, I be tight. I was nigga. watching a motherfucking Brad Pitt movie or some shit. <laughs> Don't you comment on fucking Brad. <laughs> Brad is just there. He's yeah, just, he's facts. Just, he's not even a, a, he don't have a sex or a gender or no shit. Like, he, he, he fucking, what they call that shit? Gender fluid or whatever. Yeah, facts. I'm too <clears> jealous. <throat> nigga. I'm too jealous over my girl. I'll be tight. Nigga. So you talk about guys being insecure. I'm I'm not scared to admit I'm not, I'm not scared to admit my that would be insecurity yeah, yeah. I would say I'm jealous I, I'm a jealous nigga but that makes me me yeah for sure you know what I'm saying men yeah. and women jealous you know if you ain't jealous you don't love that motherfucker yeah that's a fact you know if you don't give a shit what they do or that's who they sad. do it with you don't give a shit about that person I've been in I got to a point in a relationship where I ain't give a shit about what they did or who they was with or nothing like that and I knew. That it was time for me to go at that point, you know what right. I'm saying? Because <clears throat> so what? So what? Like I wanted to talk on that. Like what? So if you're in a relationship, if you're in a relationship in a in a man, you know, or, or another woman, you know, kind of like does a gesture or looks at your man, how are you reacting? You are you gonna get mad about it, or? I mean. If- it depends on how he's reacting to it. Are you watching his reaction to make like do? Are you gonna be like this and then look at your man, and make sure the reaction like how how's that whole whole thing work? Are you getting tight or? I mean, if you're entertaining another bitch, of course I will. Mm-hmm. Like you know, okay. I'm not gonna make it seem because she's not gonna know I'm pressed about her. Oh, okay, but, that's yeah. important, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> She can't know that I'm mad. Nah, you're not gonna get me to that point. Okay. You ever been walking with it with a dude you was with, and you caught him like looking at another chick ass or some I'll shit? I do that too. Shit, we would look together. I don't care. I never experienced that before. You know, I never experienced like being in. The, I hear people saying that like they in a relationship with a girl who's so cool that you can look at another bitch and y'all can talk about Is that how real? attractive. Yeah. The yes. b- other bitch is as that, long as you not like being. Oh my god! Like I want to hit that type shit. Like you don't know this. But if, if he looking, if he, if he looking, looking like that, I mean, yeah, you can. Even if he don't say it out loud, he thinking that he thinking like, think ah, it, fuck but don't shit. say it because some guys say it and that's okay. like really disrespectful. But wouldn't you, know? you be insecure if your man was even thinking it? How you don't know what he's thinking? So like, what guys if he's? Think that what if your females will think he too? Everybody got thoughts. So that's so life. so females you, think that too. When y'all see dudes, y'all be like, ah, smash. Yeah, he fine. And you think okay, the dude but is like damn, to but like but like damn he fine and I'll smash I let him smash a lot of females do that and, then, and with 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 in a relationship with another with with her man I don't know I wouldn't I mean shit. people can't control their thoughts exactly but like knowing that kind of breaks my heart a little bit but like my question is is it the opposite <laughs> though like 
if you can sit there and look at the at the fe- at the female with your boyfriend, just hypothetically speaking, and you're like, oh, I was smashed or whatever, and he says, or not, I was smashed, but damn, she got a fat ass. Is it the same on his part if you look at a guy and be like, yeah, like he looks good? Nah, or that would make him gay. Yeah, but I'm just saying, I'm just saying though, like, why like why if, is that? If I don't trip, if you look another bitch ass. You're not supposed to trip if I look at another man. It's not like I make eye contact with that man. And but you could tell you him know? that another guy is attractive? You've been with a guy like that? No. Okay. I feel like that's, <laughs> yeah, a, that's, that's, that's another that's double standard. That's the point that I was going to say. Like, that's the point. Because if a dude, if you walking with your dude and you say another dude look good and he be like, yeah, girl. Hell no. That nigga got that, that, that 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 dookie happen. stains in his drawers. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga on the other side. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, bro. That's that's why. But what about a man do women look for? Because, of course, like a man looking at the obvious things when he's just out and he see a woman, like he see her ass or her titties or she got a nice face or some shit like that, you know. As like initial attraction, like what are you looking for? Are you looking for like a man with a fucking pause, a print in his pants or some shit, or are you looking for a man with a, with a big ass, or looking for a muscular dude, or like what's your preference to dudes? Like you date you, you date German guys? No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Chris. <laughs> Oh, he rushing. He rushing. So Chris, rushing. Chris, like, I'm out of that. I'm out of that. <laughs> so what, you date uh, black dudes? Yeah. Like, exclusively, like, only black dudes? Or are you, you, de- you open to date anybody but German dudes? I used to be into, like, Middle Eastern type shit or, like, Hispanic dudes, but, like, not anymore. Okay. So right now it's really just, like, mainly, like, brown skin. Brown skin. Black dudes. Yeah. What made you go away from Middle Eastern? I mean, I don't know if Middle Eastern is the same as like, or close to like Turkish or whatever. Yeah, I was never into Turkish guys, but like this, like the but tanned what, what I, with dark hair, da 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 da. What I was know? getting at though is like, I heard a lot of chicks go away from like Turkish dudes or like that type of guy because they a little bit more controlling in relationships. Like they try to like control what y'all wear and like, yeah, because of the, how y'all present yourself. Like they want like kind of more complete control over their women than like other cultures of people and stuff like that. A lot of like Turkish guys, whatsoever. (laughs) I like that. Really? A lot of them. Yeah. From the stories I've heard, they are. Okay. But you never like dated one that was like that. Okay. I haven't been in too many relationships. I don't get in a relationship lightly, you know. Okay. I'm really picky. You one of them people who never been in love and stuff? Oh no, not that. Okay. A lot of chicks say like I never love somebody and shit oh, like shit. that. <laughs> <laughs> These cold hearted chicks, but you prefer like black dudes. Yeah. Why is that? I don't know. It's just what I'm attracted. Never really to. thought about it. No. <clears throat> But why? What turns you off about German dudes? Because I hear a lot of women who are not attracted to German German guys. Like they would never. I don't know. It's just, is it like a all, is it like a corny factor? Like a lame factor? <laughs> <laughs> like just be what, real. Be yeah, real. I, I would. I would like to know that too. Because I always hear that. Like a lot of. It's just I don't know <laughs> the looks and then the way they act and then I just don't like people talking German. <laughs> I literally <sighs> hate the language. Like Me I hate too. the fucking language. I don't Imagine like the language. You, like, you about to you about to smash and then you know you all talk or whatever and he talks to you in German. I'm like, ugh, like that's ugh, don't I do that. I feel you, know? you. But do, do you think but do you think like <laughs> do you think like the the things that you like, like you listen to rap and stuff, you don't that's is that the Did that influence, influence you? your attraction? I mean there are a lot of German people who listen to stuff like that. They don't necessarily listen to German rap or whatsoever. Mm-hmm. Okay. You know? So it's not really that. I don't know. It's just. Is I it feel you. I feel all you. in one package. It's just. It's is just it not like, for me. Is it like their personality? Like, do you feel like Germans have a s- certain type of personality or like, I don't know. It's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Are they just, or, or are they like, what? I mean, I, <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't know. I, like, I don't know what 
I'm not trying to, because like, again, I don't, I'm not German, so like what? Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up. But how, but for real though, how, how are, there, baby, keep it a rack. Like how are German, obviously you can't stereotype all German guys to be like this, right. but like the typical, I mean, I guess that is a stereotype. The typical German dude is like grabbing each other ass and shit. No, 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 let playing, her, let her playing, say it. Let her say flicking it. each what other's is, dicks and shit. What? What is? Am I right, really Chris? Crazy. You sound really crazy right now. <laughs> what? Like what? What? For real though, what? I mean, flicking each other's dicks <laughs> and balls and shit. How you even know all that? Cause I be around German dudes sometimes, and I, I be the only one that. not playing them gay games with them and shit. Cause I be giving them a look like, <laughs> oh, come over here with that shit, nigga. I ain't the one, you know. But I feel like I don't know, cause I'm not a woman. But I feel like. Like, especially in your generation, like, y'all really in tune to what's cool and what's in I, style. And, like, German dudes ain't, ain't, German Jews just ain't, a lot of times they ain't cool. They corny. <laughs> They're really corny. They I, fucking I corny. Like corny. That's corny That's the thing with, like, <clears throat> like, in America, like, it's a fine line between what's lame, what's corny, and what's cool. You know what I'm saying? Like. Just something as, sim- as simple as, like, how you talk. Yeah, right. How you form words can make you a lame-ass motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's a fact. That's a fact. And in Europe, you speak one word of German, and you sound like the lamest motherfucker <laughs> in the world just because of how the language is spoken. Nah, I wouldn't say that. Guys, bro, the language, language the language is, is because, horrible. Uh, yeah, but the, I'm There's saying, nothing sexy about German, bro. But if bro. you grew up... True. But hold on. But if you grew up... Okay, she yeah. grew Germ- up here. Germans, German. Up here. Okay, I understand that, but I mean, it's the language though. That's a that's that's kind of like reaching, cause bro, the language is not reaching, sexy. That's bro. reaching for being lame though. Have you ever had lame. sex with a woman and she spoke some German with you? No, never. I mean, you wouldn't even understand it, so that's different. That, and I think that's what I'm saying. If you grew up here and they speaking a language, nigga, like you know, I don't think that's the the standard that sets you to be that was, lame. That was always weird to Multiple me, Germans have told me they don't even like the language, bro. Like, I mean, I'm a, not disagreeing. Like, it's a cool, like, old, but, like... But I don't think a language makes you cool or not, though. That doesn't put but you that, on the status my, my of being point, lame. My point was, like, the line between corny, lame, and cool, and, like, normal is more blurred over here because of... Because you can't just judge a person off of how they speak because everything sounds corny like german is a corny sounding language man you cannot just dis- dispute that like this I mean, shit does I'm not, not sound I'm not, I'm not disputing i'm just saying i don't think within what we were talking about like, like what makes a german I that's think- a part of what makes a german dude corny especially like super german like berg living from a small village saying Sevus. I think, well, I, think, I think I think the only thing I don't I, I'm not trying to say nothing. I, I'm not trying Let's to get up, my nigga. Like don't. I'm not trying to <laughs> That shit don't sound I, cool. Look, look, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I think on my side, like that ain't getting no pussy wet, bro. What makes a German like what's kinda lame to me about the German mentality and I not trying to talk bad about Germans, but when it comes to guys, it's like you know, because I got I'm around them too, and they kind of like they're like you get something for them, and they're like I don't know, yo, remember that one time when I gave you this? Yeah, they count favors. They count favors. And that's I what hate makes that I think shit. that to me that's what makes like it's just they have this that attitude, like, yeah. you know. That's what makes them lame to yeah, me. It's like that's kid. another factor, yeah. Yeah, you know, My but sister, the language. <laughs> what about your sister? My sister had this one friend that was like in college together, whatsoever. I don't know. Mm-hmm. So. My sister this one day, I don't know, they were like grocery shopping and she bought something for my sister. It was like three euro. And when I tell y'all, this girl was pressing my sister about this three, these fucking three euro I believe for it. so long. Yeah, man. And, and I can't and connect. And, and, and the thing is, I can't connect to these people because it's kind of like I I have German friends, too. But even even my friends, like if I'm like, yo, bro, like I got you, I get them, especially right. at work. I'll, I'll, I'll just naturally being me just like I got my job or somebody like, you know, something from, from the Reve, whatever. Mm-hmm. They'll be like, thanks man. Uh, here, you know, uh, I give you this. And I'm like, yo bro, like it's two like, euro, it's bro. Fine, I don't need right. that, bro. Like what nigga? Here's your 30 cents. I owe you. I'm like, That's yo bro, I just saying. got you. I just got you some, a bag of chips, bro. It's, it's, 
Like it's not I don't that mind deep. That, they make nah, it so I, deep. Nah, because it's like, for example, if I if I hit you up, I'm like, yo, Tommy, da da da. You know, let's go out to dinner, me and the family. I'm gonna, I'm gonna like I'm gonna pay, like, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not gonna expect you to be like, well, next week I hope this nigger takes me out to fucking dinner next week because I just oh, spent a hundred. That's the attitude okay. they have. Yeah. Not the fact because of course we can argue at the table, like, nah, I'm gonna pay, I'm gonna pay. Like that's yeah. being oh, they don't that's being do that, though. They're like their mentality is like, damn, I paid for Tommy and his family to eat. This motherfucker better call me next right. week with the money, you know. Mm-hmm. That's the mentality. Like, that ain't really my experience, though. I had a lot of, like, when I first got out here, a lot of people, like, when I wasn't doing so good, helped me out. And I don't know if I f- ever felt like they expected, like, anything back from me like that, like, immediately. But Germans like agree with that, too. Wouldn't you say Germans <laughs> say that about themselves? Uh, uh, that's a, yeah, a that's something. Germans say that about themselves. Yeah. It's not like everybody is not like that. Not everybody. Mm. I feel like the younger but, generation is not... Really yeah. Like okay. This. But a lot of people are actually like that. Yeah, I feel you. But yeah, that, like, okay, f- sorry, I'm gonna say this. So, for example, like, if me, if me and you went out, we're gonna argue about who's paying, right? Mm-hmm. Like, I, I always do that with, like, my friends out here that are like Turkish, you know, from Lebanon, like, not German. Mm-hmm. But if I go out to dinner with a German friend, they won't. Eat, they're not gonna even offer to pay me. Like to to pay for me, right. they're kind of like they expect you to pay for, they're they're gonna pay for their shit. You're gonna pay for their shit. They're gonna pay for their shit. That's how the German mentality is. Like that ain't my experience. Really? Though. Yeah. Like really. A lot I, of my German friends will offer to pay for everything, and I'll be like, I'll be like, why you want to pay for everybody though? Why you just can't pay for your shit and I pay for my shit? You know what I'm saying? Nah. But maybe I, I just had a different I just had a different experience over here because like majority of my time over here like everybody knew who the fuck I was and everybody was yeah, kind of kissing that's my probably ass. Why. And shit. Yeah, that's right. probably why because that's, I'm telling you that's that's definitely like <clears throat> Germans like kind of agree with that like they're like okay. oh yeah the Germans uh, you know it's Germany <clears throat> they don't have like that I don't know it's different bro and I wouldn't say every single one I'm just saying like it's majority definitely of, I not everyone like I know people are not like that and they are German and they like. So generous, yeah, of course. Care, yeah, that's, my, that's most of my experience. They were real generous and friendly, and is shit. It like Germans. That, another thing is kind of like I feel like another, you know, because we were talking about the ask, you know, the things, the traits that make you know Germans men kind of lame. I feel <laughs> like Germ, also the German, and I'm not saying anything's wrong with it because this is Germany, but it's like different Germans, cultures, you know. different cultures, right. they're a little more like put the. You know, the plastic inside the recycle, they're so strict, man. You know? That makes like, them undesirable yeah, to women. Like, no, no, they just like, they just like. Because they like to recycle? Like, you know, you know, no, no. <laughs> it's kind of like, you know, like we kind of like. I like, like him, but uh, he, he's, he be recycling all the time. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, you get, you get my point. Yeah, they're kind of like saying. strict to. They're like a stickler to a lot of shit. They don't like, have like. I feel like when you're too strict, like you don't have fun and shit. Like right. you just kind of lame. Like they're too like, robotic. I'd be about like, come shit. on, like come on, bro. Like let's like you know spray paint some shit. The Germans like, like nah. but in Deutschland you're not supposed to say paint. You know, yeah, it's just kinda, like, Deutsch, man. they're not gonna break. They're not gonna <laughs> bend the rules a little bit. The <laughs> what what happened? Oh yeah, like for example, like I'm not saying anything bad about Germany, but like you know. Nigga was at the at the Volkswagen and he like you know drop dropped a piece of paper. Mm-hmm. He dropped the piece oh, yeah, of paper on like the that. ground, and like the lady that. I'm talking about is millions of people, bro, <laughs> at the Volkswagen. And then he's like, I can't find a trash can. You know me, I'm from New York. I'm like, nigga, drop that shit on the ground. <laughs> yeah. Even though I know it's wrong for the environment, <laughs> lady, like crowd of people, she taps him like, <laughs> pick up your trash. Like I, bro, I get it. I feel you, bro. <laughs> I get it. Like I get it. Like don't. <clears throat> Don't litter. I'm not promoting that. I'm just saying. They it's don't like, play about the environment they in Germany. They don't play about nigga. that shit. They got to go on them it's fresh like, air walks. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, I was at, I picked up my girl from the train station the other day, right? And, you know, we putting everything in the, in the car. They got a lot of She came from Berlin. It was a lot of bags and shit. So I left the car on while I'm putting the shit in <gasps> the, car, the car, right? On. <laughs> left the car on. It's this old German lady looking at us the whole time. She's looking. She's just looking, smiling. <laughs> And I'm like, why the fuck this bitch is smiling at us? 
My girl like I don't know just, Let's just go <laughs> Let's just go And then she nigga, we, I back up I'm pulling out And she run up to the car <laughs> And she's like, how dare you keep your car on the whole time? <laughs> Think about the environment. Like, just all up in arms oh, by this shit. Bro. I'm like, bitch. I said it real calm, too. I'm like, bitch, you don't get the <laughs> fuck away from my car. In the States, that's dangerous. That shit will get you whacked. I know, but over here, she like, that oh, the normal. environment. How dare you keep your yeah, car you on? You fuck around. Look, in the States, look, you fuck around and go up to somebody that might... They might be they they breaking moment. You don't know what they did. Yeah, you might like, get shot in the fucking face. They could have had the worst face. day. They could have just got fired. And you coming up to the window like pick up the thing. Gonna be like, what? I've been going through this shit all. Wow, wow. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That's what makes Germany safe. I get it. But I'll be like, son. Like sometimes I'll be, you know, I'll be outside. I'll be outside and shit. You know, do a little gum wrapper on the ground. Or I park my car one time. The guy, old man, sticking his head out the window already, <laughs> just looking at me, watching me. So I roll my window. Yeah, I always, I always, up? bro, because I hate it. I hate it. Me personally, I hate it, but I respect it. And I'm like, but I get a little mad. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, you know, you, you I can't help you. <laughs> you know, I try to be nice. Yeah. And the guy, and the guy's like, oh yeah, you can't. You know, your car's running, and you, you know, I'm just like, yo, my nigga. I'll be thinking in my head, like, oh, my nigga, why the fuck? Did this motherfucker stay five minutes out his fucking window? Five minutes. He ain't got shit else to do and with his old I'll ass. I'll be waiting because I, I try to avoid it. Because yeah. I know they're going to say something. And they'll wait. Hell yeah. They'll like wait. wait. They ain't got shit else to do. <laughs> Still wait for Nigga, you. all my old neighbors in this neighborhood be looking. I think they be watching me and my girl fucking sometimes. <laughs> shit. They all, you always see them in the window like. They every time you look out the door. Out some old Germans, they ain't scared to be peeping Tom, like man. like hanging out the window, <clears throat> looking out the street and shit. My girl was at the motherfucking uh, playground with, with with my son and my daughter the other day. Lady came up to him and was like, did you kidnap these these kids? Are these really your kids? Because they mixed, you know, and they don't look like her. Oh, man. She was getting ready to call the motherfucking police out on her because she was like, you done took some nigga kids around here. Out here? Up the street. Then they saw your black ass. They was I like, wasn't Never there. Buy, uh. <laughs> it was just her and my nanny, you know? And That's neither crazy. one of them really looked like my kids and shit. So they was just thought they, it, was, it was a human trafficking situation, <laughs> I guess. Damn, that's crazy. That's wild, man. People need to mind their fucking business. Yeah, man. Right. Shit crazy. Yeah, Jeremy. Like, so like I said, the mentality is kind of like... You know, they're kind of strict. They, you know, so I would say a guy, if they grew up out here, they kind of kind of adjust to the culture. So, you know. You know we got kinda... to all of that asking her why she's not attracted yeah, to yeah. German men, though. Yeah. Let, uh, yeah, you tell us what turns you off about German men. Are you just. I'm just not attracted to them. It's not just like. Oh, I don't like this and this and this and this and this. It's just like all in one, like the whole package together. It just, just doesn't like, turn you on. Throw it away. Just throw it away. <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying you want to exterminate them? No, I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> no comments. Damn. I feel you. It's a certain section of the, of the world that I don't really want to date either. At the but end I've, of the day, you attracted to what you attract. Yeah, 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 you exactly. attract. You so. love. You like what you like. And we talked about love. that before. But you got to experience. You don't know what you you don't know what you like until you or don't like until you experience. Oh, it. I was with a German guy before a minute ago. A minute ago. A cool minute ago. Man, hey, you, ain't, you, you ain't that old, so what? Like your first bro boyfriend type shit? Nah. Y'all just hunching and smooching. <laughs> 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 this <laughs> guy I was talking to. I don't know, it's a couple of years back. On. Okay. Yeah, I, mean, I understand why. You know, a black. Guy. But you know Jeremy's gonna be in our comment. How dare these niggers come to our country and disrespect they in, us? They gonna be in the comments like, uh, she got a fetish for niggers. <laughs> <laughs> she got the jungle fever. You already know it's gonna come. Yeah, it is. But Jeremy's about it. to come out. They it's say like, whatever why, they why the say. fuck are you here? They go back to America. That's the that's you know that's gonna be in the fuck. Nah, they'll be like, take your ass back to the Middle East or whatever the fuck they gonna <laughs> I swear say. To God. They get pretty raw in the comments. That's why I'm gonna stop reading the comments, man. 
I'll be weak off the comments. I'll read the first few. If you want me to read your comment, you better be in the first, in the top five commenters when we I post love some that shit. shit. I love that shit. Me and Tommy just text each other like, yo, you see what this motherfucker said? He called me Jada Pickett Spit. <laughs> that shit be too, that shit be getting wild, man. They, like, uh, that one Biden clip that we posted been going viral lately. Oh, yeah. and, like, the Democrats and nah. the Republicans going back and forth with each other and shit. The one, the one only comment that kind of had me hot I ain't gonna lie, you probably get a little clout from it. The one nigga that responded to who you choose, like to be in a relationship with, I forgot. You remember the you remember the, the stripper guy? one? Nah, he said he said something about um, you know, I think we were talking about mixed kids and shit. Remember? We was talking about the mixed kids. Okay, okay. Remember the guy and he said some shit like um uh, People like racism don't mixed people don't exist or something. Ah, nah, he said something. Damn, son, like what was it? And I got in the comments. And I kind of said something. I said something. And V the dude, was in the, the com- dude that was like, he don't date uh, black women, but his mom blackers, or he he don't date he don't date of white course, women. No, he said, of course his his and of course his wife is white or something like that. Yeah, and he mixed, and, and his mixed. mom is white. And he yeah. was like, he gonna he gonna date a black queen to to preserve the black race. Yeah, some shit. Which is the dumbest shit. How are you mixed and your mama white and you trying to throw away all white women and shit? So you just going to throw, what I said in the throw away Becky, huh? You saw what I said in the comment. <laughs> yeah, I saw what you said. <laughs> you going to throw Karen away, huh? Yeah. Yeah, like, but you was like, you got on him, though. You was like, I your was mom. He kind of got tight. Your mom got piped down by a nigga or some shit <laughs> yeah, like that. I said, said, your mom got piped, so you should be grateful you is some shit. Yeah, he couldn't say too much back to that one. Yeah, he, did, he didn't respond. Yeah, he was like, damn. Him. He probably never tuned in the podcast again. <laughs> that shit had me tight because it was like borderline. It was board. It's borderline racist. It was and on top of it, really. yeah, yeah, it's borderline racist and like I felt like I felt some type of way about that shit. Yeah, but it's all good. Y'all can do it now. I'm, I'm over it now. We gotta stop. Like I be that's why I want to stop looking at the comments because I be snapping back at people and that's like you know. We shouldn't be doing that. We should just be let people go at it in the comments and I have fun with it though. Sometimes I do. It's fun like <laughs> shutting yeah, yeah. people down and shit. Yeah, but these are like potential fans of the show that we like really shitting on and shit. So maybe we should stop like clapping back. At I mean, I just like I just go against some shit that like if I see a comment because there's a bunch of negative shit, but I like. Some of them have me weak. I don't say nothing. I just be weak. Yeah, but sometimes but they cross the line. Sometimes they cross the line, and I gotta. I'm always myself. Like yeah. I'm gonna say something, you know what I mean? Like Yeah, I mean, yeah, people can't feel like they can just say anything. Yeah. But they still gonna say shit. But when I if I see that shit, I might I might clap back, as they say. Yeah, this is it. We might be on the um on what's it called? The shade room for clap back shit. So you know what I mean? Yeah. Pause. I had to say pause. Hey yo, man, come on. Y'all niggas have me talking <laughs> hot on here. <laughs> yeah, but is there any other topics that we wanted to I mean, it was the shooting, but I feel like if we talk about that, it's gonna go. I would just into say another uh, you hour know, or some shit. I wouldn't. I wouldn't talk too much on it. I'll just say, you know, you know, uh, sorry for the for the victims that were lost in the in the shooting. That's about it. And hope the people in the community heal. Um, you know, with the Buffalo shooting, that's about it, man. Like, I don't want to yeah. get too much into it. Cause we don't want to give him too much uh, publicity and shit. I do want to talk about it. You know what would be interesting is. To talk about it on the la- on the next podcast with our um, trans black guest that we're gonna oh, yeah we'll leave we're it gonna for that. see what she thinks about some black issues and stuff like that and black people getting killed by like a yeah. white nationalist and shit. See if if she want to be black so bad. Let's see she can take in our. Yeah, you gotta take the whole thing. You can't just take the skin color. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. You gotta take all the problems too. Yeah. Yeah. Anything else you want to say? You want to like shout out your Instagram, TikTok, or TikTok, or Snapchat, or whatever. <laughs> my Instagram is Sahel underscore F A. Just tag me. People don't know how to spell my name. Yeah, she got all the booty <laughs> shots and the titty shots on there oh, for you. She said all, she was single. All the thirst traps. Yup. Yeah. She going to Texas. <laughs> <laughs> Austin, if you went Austin, Texas, be on the lookout. She coming. When you leaving? This Friday. This Friday. <laughs> live in Austin, Texas. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> Boy. <clears throat> nah, but we hope you have a good time out there. Hope Thank you find you. your uh your way out there. 
be safe. And be safe. safe. Stay focused, safe. focused on your, because, I mean, you talked about your goals. So, mm-hmm. say, you know, focus, remain on your goals. You know, and if you ever need to, like, think about what your choices is, watch this episode on the podcast. <laughs> yeah, you can always look back at this. We exactly. hope you find a guy who's not in the military and is, <laughs> is out of his whole phase in life. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. With that being said, this has been episode 15 of the Quote Goats podcast. Next time you see us, we'll be in here with Martina Big. And uh, I think it was a good episode. Yeah, it's a good episode. Run it up in the comments. Haters, too. You're all welcome, man. <laughs> You're all welcome. But we might clap back at you, though. And, yo, and I appreciate, we both appreciate everybody who's, like, really engaging on TikTok. And, yeah, for sure. But make sure you, you know, check out our other platforms all and stuff like that. All the forms, especially YouTube. We need them YouTube subscribers and exactly. shit, too. And we appreciate you coming by. You know what I'm saying? We know you headed out and probably got packing and shit to do. But you stop by and we appreciate that. Word. All right. We'll see y'all on the next episode. Peace. Yo, if you enjoyed this podcast, you already know what to do. And if you don't know what to do, I'm going to tell you what to do. Hit that subscribe. Hit the bell icon and give us a like. Because it's the Quote Go Podcast, man. You can't, you can't go wrong. Tune in every weekday, 6 o'clock. Friday, full episodes on YouTube and Spotify. Hit us up on the Instagram. Give us topics. And we appreciate it, man. Quote Ghost Podcast. We out.